Good evening, Pokemon speedrunners. My name is CyJ, and I am joined uh, by the wonderful Greta Ice Vixen and the equally as wonderful Joker Sleeps. We're here to commentate uh, the 11th race of the 2023 Pokemon Let's Go Any Percent No Mount Skips Tournament. Today we'll be doing a... We have a race going on today between New Amber, uh, Sandy Beach, and King Par. And our players are currently getting in-game. Um, so, uh, what do you guys think of uh, this race so far? Guys? Um, I'm uh, pretty excited. I'm not going to lose one. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> enough about um, lies. Yeah. So Amber's racing Eevee and King Par and Sandy are racing Pikachu. Um, you'll see, as you've been seeing from the other runs, differences between the two versions. Yep. Amber, yeah. uh, Amber, definitely one of the favorites uh, to win the tournament. Amber's uh, my me. favorite. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> The commentator bias is strong. You could um, but with uh, with most of the races done, um, to lock in the upper, the top one time for next round, um, the races will need to be uh, Triv's Shavari is 307.10. So if any, if uh, whoever wins this race can do that, they'll be locked in the top one next round, which is pretty nice because you can dodge some. Uh, Good yeah, and for uh, pot three upper bracket as well, the time to beat is a 313.22. Um, so whoever finishes second and uh, uh, the uh, pot three runners also have a chance at that, um, they will have to beat that time um, as well. Uh, we do have uh, a rival named Eleven uh, from King Car. Love Eleven, it's my favorite number. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I thought I saw him name himself P, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we I... have Girl 3 Gaming, Girl 1 Gaming, and Boy 1 Gaming. We it have... makes zero difference, but it makes a difference in our hearts, so. No, it makes a difference. Bring out Girl 3 in round one. Interesting choice. <laughs> usually, honestly... usually save it. Usually save Girl 3 for, like, when you really need it. According to the uh, Pokemon Evolutions anime, Girl Three is actually canon. Well, she's the best girl. So. That was the that was the girl that uh, caught Mewtwo in the uh, in the episode. Oh yeah. Uh, but yeah, the players just did the hardest menu in the game, which was making text fast, the battle style to set, turning off, skipping cutscene, some cutscenes, or the ability to skip some cutscenes. That menu eats. All my inputs. Half time. <laughs> it is uh, it is one of the most difficult menus in Pokemon speedrunning because you can only use a single Joy-Con to run this game. Yeah. We love motion controls! Yay! Woo! I've never... <laughs> I've, I've always thrown the ball exactly where I want to in this game and never, like, needed a ball or yes. something stupid. Never happened at all. Never. This is one of, like, the only catches where you want a great and not an excellent because it's faster to get great and it's guaranteed to catch. Start. Um, hopefully all these runners get the, the nature they need. I don't know who's checking for who's not checking. I think probably, I think Par has a backup so I think he will look but I don't think Amber or Sandy will probably look. I believe Sandy does have a backup ready, but I don't think Sandy's going to uh, um, check in for it. Yeah. I know in my race, I had a backup ready to go, and the nature that I got was the same as my backup, so that was, uh, <laughs> that was cool. Nice. I was like, neat, I wasted 40 minutes of my life. <laughs> Wait, but you didn't use it, so you can use it for next round. Yes, it is, it is currently saved there for next go. round. I... Never check. <laughs> They'll bite me eventually. I check on the I check on the first level up, and if it's a bad nature, I do ditch bill. <laughs> the best category. When is the tournament for ditch bill? I think. Yeah, when when, when <laughs> that, we do the ditch bill tournament? That should be the next tournament. Yeah, <laughs> etiquette, etiquette, T Pat. Where's Where's the ditch bill tournament? Yeah. Um, so yeah. So. Our first movie skip. Yep. 
you mash the plus button here to skip this uh, movie where we meet our starter. Um, I saw bits of the Pokeball. It's, it's very it's very cute movie, but uh, we're speedrunners. We want to go fast. It's not very interesting to us. I think Sandy had the best uh, skip. They uh, I didn't see any. Oh, I saw Frame black per- on their screen. Frame perfect skip. Impish. I that's runnable. It's like plus special defense, minus defense, or the opposite. Impish is minus special attack plus defense. Sandy was relaxed. Relaxed, relaxed is also runnable. Neutral? Relaxed is uh, minus speed plus defense. See, I know not even to try when it comes to like knowing oh. what natures mean. Oh, I, have, I have them all. I have to have them all memorized because I do <laughs> play Pokemon competitively. Yeah, that makes sense. Amber's taking my special attack. I don't know any of the new EV stuff, so I don't know. I think Amber was gonna take anything. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was... Wait, who... Did we miss King Parves? I think it was Mild? Yeah, I can't... Sure. Well, we can tell in the... Mild is good. That's... Yes, Mild is a one of the better natures you can get uh, for Pikachu. Is that special attack? I forget. Uh, plus special attack minus defense. Yeah. Uh, personally, I I prefer plus attack Pikachu's, um, just because they can. I feel like it helps. Uh, coming up here is one of the most important texts in the game: uh, trapping your EV below, trapping your starter below the ledge. Uh, <laughs> New Amber gets it. King Par gets it. And let's see if Sandy gets it. Sandy like did something. No, like the Pikachu is chasing Sandy. So. I never did it. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, so don't mash B, because uh, you can hit no by accident if you mash B, and then have to walk all the way back to the back. So you the know. walk of shame. I have actually not done that. I'm surprised, because I do mash B prior to that text box for some reason. <laughs> but I have not done it yet. Uh, this fight actually, I Joker. Can. Yeah. Joker, uh, T-Pat just said in chat, uh, we'll be doing an a- AOP tourney first before we do the oh. ditch build tournament. Well, so. see, even though I, I run AOP, I would rather do a ditch build tournament. <laughs> we could probably knock out <laughs> a ditch AOP build tournament in a day. Uh, Pro- probably knock out a full ditch build tournament in one day. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, was it? Oh yeah, this fight uh, is usually fine, but if you get like paralyzed, by the Pikachu on Eevee, you can just get paired for like seven straight turns and then take forever. Uh, Growl's also bad. Yeah, this fight is uh, slightly harder on Pika um, because uh, Thunder Shock does not do as much damage. It's usually always four, maybe five turns if you have minus special uh, on Pika. Um, Eevee, you can do this fight in two turns if you get lucky. Uh, most of the time it will be three, sometimes four because the rival does like to spam Growl. So. I, I never calc this, so I don't know if this is true, but I feel like if you, like, double crit high roll with, like, a plus special attack to EG, you could, like, maybe two-turn to EG. Uh, maybe. Because <laughs> I feel like I've seen I've done, like, I wouldn't be surprised if it would. But, like, it'll never happen. Yeah. The best the best way is actually to, to have the EV kill you in three turns. Um, yes. That's faster. Uh, it, has, it is actually that... faster to lose the fight, um, because you do get to skip the cutscene afterwards. I I have had that happen to me like three or four times, and I have not really seen that happen to like anyone else. So here we can tell the Pikachu one. Rival Eevee gives one more experience point than the Rival Pikachu. So... You said Sandy was relaxed, Greta? Yeah. on the level up, um, the neutral Pikachu is like 16, 16 something, 15, 15 21. <laughs> I forget the defense. 16, 13? <laughs> 14, 16, 14, 15? Something like that. I think you're confusing the people. Yeah, seven, 17. I think that's plus attack, minus defense. I thought it was like mild. 
Didn't we go over this? <laughs> someone said oh, someone's we? nature was mild in chat. Oh, I'm not sure. yeah, I don't. I think that was... Oh, it's naughty. There we go. Okay, naughty. He just right. <laughs> yeah, okay, was plus. Oh, new Amber actually doing a strat here, grabbing the uh, Caterpie. So I actually went back and looked this up. About a year ago, we learned this game's actual catch rates and how catching actually works in this game. Uh, we found out there is actually a modifier for uh, what is called the newbie mod. Um, if you have not made it to the forest, uh, your chances of catching a Pokemon are much higher uh, before you enter Viridian Forest. So, uh, new Amber grabbing a Caterpie early. And I know that can be good too, because you have a second Pokemon that you can two controller catch with now. If you find Pika or Frick, either one. Yeah, so those of you who have not seen this game before, uh, this is sort of like Fire Red, Leaf Green, Round 2 speedruns, where we do have to catch Pokemon. Uh, one of the more controversial changes of this game uh, when this came out was that every gym has a requirement to enter. Uh, for example, Brock's gym requires you to have a grass Pokemon or a water Pokemon to enter. Uh, it is actually impossible to get a water Pokemon before this point in the game without nice. trading. Nice design. <laughs> Might as well just set a grass Pokemon, but I guess they were accounting for trading. But uh, for this game, the requirement to enter Koga's gym requires 50 Pokemon registered in our Pokedex. So we will be catching lots of Pokemon in this run. Um, so uh, these runners will likely be picking up both of the bugs, um, Caterpie and Weedle. They are three Pokemon each because they're all very close to leveling. They're fully evolved by level 10. They come at level 7. Um, and uh, Pikachu uh, for New Amber is a possibility um, for the Pika runners. If they see uh, if they see Pikachu, it's not very helpful. Um, and uh, Bulbasaur is also here as well. But you do need a Grass type. So in Pika, they'll be grabbing Oddish, and Eevee will be grabbing Bellsprout. What do you mean? You want Pikachu in uh, Pikachu? So you can get right. Obviously. That's true. That's Obviously. true. I wish I wish there were like extra stones on the ground somewhere. The only one we find well, is uh, the water stone, which is perfect. Well, so, but... so you can get one in rock tunnel, with, but like you need to like have a uh, ground or rock type following you, and then they have to pick it up, and it's very unlikely that you'll ever get. Oh, oh, oh Amber, uh, nice a tiny peak. Um, so catching that Caterpie early does pay off to be able to two control this uh, this catch here. Level three, a little low, but uh, the catch is what matters. Uh, we'll likely dump the Pikachu um, when we grab the lure, um, just because uh, every level up in this game does waste two seconds, so um, probably does not want that in their party. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice, uh, nice jumbo there too. Uh, Pikachu, Eevee gained oh, it. Super believe. small. Yeah, super yeah. small. Gained two levels there. Yeah, you saw it was glowing blue, like Red mentioned. Glowing blue is small and glowing red is high, or big. Um, and they give extra experience points. You get extra experience points for catching stuff with the first ball, using two controllers, um, getting excellent slash great slash nice slash nothing, has different multipliers, um, and the level is also. Uh, there is a third kind of glowing for the Pokemon. If they're glowing gold, they are shiny. Uh, <laughs> that is very... Uh, Maybe it, we'll it, see it. It's like a one in... What is it? Like a one in ten to see a shiny? <laughs> like, it's pretty common. I mean, we've I seen two been. just during the tournament. They were Never both the same Pokemon, too. Not the same. The same evolution line. Same evolution line, but... But, totally yeah. Forget that. I was going to say something to note about two controller catches is you get more experience from it and you have a higher catch rate that way. So even though there's an animation for it, which does add up, it's completely worth it in the end. Yeah. I would love to see a task in this game because it would be... It would oh, de yeah. destroy the world record. It would absolutely <laughs> destroy the world record. Mm -hmm. A task of this game would probably be like a 240 or something, something insane. Like I think it'd be, I think it'd be like 230 or lower. Wow, that's actually super low. <laughs> I mean, that that's just guesswork, so I could be totally off. But like, you know, you crit everything, right? So a lot of fights are like one turn or something. Oh yeah, you should <laughs> demolish every trainer in the game. And then like, you probably one controller catch most things, and also you wouldn't need excellence because you could 
Yeah, you just super maximize. Oh, you see King Par uh, checking out his Pikachu? Uh, Looks like it was sitting <laughs> there. Now, if you shake the Joy Cons a little too much, sometimes your partner Pokemon will, uh, you know, think you want to play with it. But yeah, there's mostly... like a little prompt that comes up occasionally. Most of the time, we're we we do love our Pokemon, but uh, we we got places to be, so uh, yeah. not really interested in uh, petting them. They get pets after the run. <laughs> Sometimes. So for EV version, you want level ten for double kick, uh, Amber just got it. So. Yeah, so like I said earlier, uh, every gym kind of has a requirement, and Brox is required to have a grass or a water type um, coming in here. So you might be thinking, you know, how does the Pikachu game get through Brock? You're weak to everything. Well, we're going to catch an Oddish, and we are going to steamroll Brock with this Oddish. Um, the Eevee version learns Double Kick and just uh, double kicks all of Brock's Pokemon, so. It does take a little longer. This, this Oddish can one-shot. Um, both Pokemon, and Eevee takes a little bit of time to kill the Pokemon. Yeah, Oddish has Absorb, and Brock's mm -hmm. Pokemon do not like special moves. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, unfortunately, in the Eevee version, we get Bellsprout, which is, um, uh, it's just not, it's not as good as, uh, it's not as good as Oddish. It's, uh, the, ni the nicest way to put it for what Bellsprout is. My whip is bad. It's uh, quite a terrible move. Uh, Sandy grabbing a, rat a rat Rattata outside of uh, the Viridian Forest. Look, very good to kind of shore up your experience, and it is an extra catch. It's fine to catch Rattata because you can just catch Eradicate later. Also, you will want Otters to be at least level 8 for the Brock fight. Uh, ideally, well, I know there's uh, Sandy Caught in the Forest, but you can catch it on round 2 at level 9. Uh, but that could be like riskier and then like, set the route. So, forced, your force is like the safer dodge choice. Yeah, no, King Par is uh, King Par switching their Oddish to the front of the party. Getting ready for the Brock fight. Yeah, the one time I didn't switch to Pikachu, I just smashed. So I got kicked by Brock. <laughs> nice. Should have, should have a new category, kicked by Brock. <laughs> it's just for when your runs like die because you don't get Oddish. Yep. I mean, that's how we created, uh, what was it, Flexon? Is that, is that the run in uh, Sword? Is that the name of it in Sword and Shield? Mm hmm. Is that, is that how they got created? Mom? I think so, yeah. Flexon Mom. I don't know how it got created, I just know it got created. It just happened. The thing yeah, are people... starting the rock fight here is where uh, we're just going to spam absorb. Uh, I believe the Oddish is level eight, so this should one shot the Geodude. And if uh, the Oddish kind of has like bad special attack or like bad nature, it might not one shot the Onyx. It's very likely to, but it might not. No, it's not. It's not likely to one shot it. At level eight? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yep, no. Oh, ten to guarantee the one shot. And then it's, it's a range. You're more likely to not hit it. Luckily, no triple headbutt flinch to Otis. Yeah. Apparently, like... Shen created Flex on Mom. Yeah, I, yeah, knew, I, I knew Shen. I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. I just don't know why he created it. Well, I actually, I know why. It's because it's Shen. <laughs> yeah, it's not the second. That's to say, it's Shen. Uh, new, uh, new Amber and Sandy both getting to Brock's gym. Um, New Amber uh, about to start the fight. Um, Sandy walking up to Brock now. Yeah, you may be thinking Par is super far ahead, but he actually has less catches than the other two, so it kind of evens out. Each like additional uh, Pokemon is like 30 to 40 seconds of time. Uh, we'll say 30 seconds. To Kind of hard to tell 
Yeah, we have a saying. We have a saying in this community that uh, splits are pretty much irrelevant until Koga, which is very far into the game. So um, we'll we'll kind of figure out their pace uh, as the run progresses. Usually around Rock Tunnel, we can kind of get like a better idea of how far, who's who's ahead, who's behind, where we're at. Is the game part selling? Unlocking newish strategy for Tiger Bunny Rats. Don't have you selling any Pokeballs here? Uh, that makes a difference. Selling the Pokeballs here, it's a beginner strap, but it is guaranteed to give you enough money to kind of buy everything you need. We'll buy Burning, it's okay. okay. <laughs> I always buy X Defense. Headbutt is a nice TM that we're going to use. Brock is the only gym leader in uh, in all of Pokemon who does not give a TM for his matching type. He gives us Headbutt here. Um, Generation 1, he also gives Bide. Um, that's a bad move. And uh, uh, Headbutt is actually incredible on the Eevee version. I thought he gave Rock Tube. He doesn't give Rock Tube in Eevee? I think he gives it in Gen 3? In Fire Red Leaf Green. Fire Red, Fire Red Leaf Green. I know in Gen 1 he gives Bide. We've got a Mankey, nice. So on this route, uh, you can find Mankey or Sandshrew. Um, on this route, and on Pikachu, and then on Eevee, uh, you can only find Ekans. Um, so, a little different. We just, we just get Ekans here, sadly, but... You get a Meowth, because those always appear on Route 25. <laughs> I Long wish they cool. always appeared on Route 25, like a 10% chance. The game, uh, the game makes fun of you for buying this magic card. Does it? I don't read it at all. So. Uh, it says uh, you paid an outrageous five hundred dollars for a magic card. It's oh, called yeah. time save. Yeah. <laughs> we'll spend all the money. The game's <laughs> like, yeah, the game's like, how dare you spend the money on this magic card? Amber's seeing all Spiro. Oh, there's an Oh, there, there is a snack. There is one no, snack. No, look at that. Look at that Mankey on Sandy's screen. He's <laughs> <laughs> just vibing up there. Sandy, uh, New Amber also two controlling the uh, the Ekans cache there. Yeah, you can you can two controller Pokeball it or Y controller Great Ball it. Because um, uh, the way cal calcul calculations work. Um, if you like, they're like very like like ninety like percent. Yep, see you? right there. You paid an outrageous five hundred dollars and bought the magic card. <laughs> uh, Sandy coming up to uh, the one of my favorite parts of the game where the game teaches you that you should jump the ledge to dodge the trainer and then the next section of the game uh if you dodge if you jump the ledge you immediately have to fight a trainer <laughs> Entering Mount Moon, uh, fighting um, Evelyn, uh, who has a Bell Sprout. Um, this fight is a little bit better in Eevee uh, because it's just one headbutt. Um, in Pikachu, um, you still have Oddish in the front of your party, so I believe it's two acids to take it out. If the Bell Sprout's bad, you can. If your Oddish is bad, you can take three acids. Yeah. That's be really bad. Uh, par getting through the fight pretty easy. And these, uh, these menus up here are a little bit different between Pika and Eevee. In Eevee, you're going to want to do the menu right before the Evelyn fight. In Pika, you're going to want to do it a little bit later, um, just before you go down the ladder. Because we do want to keep Oddish in our party for one extra fight uh, that Eevee will do after we go to the basement of Mount Moon. But Pika will do it before. I Even when I did Eevee, I still preferred doing my menu after Evelyn because uh, you can get the lord of being both like bottom rooms um 
And so it just felt safer to me for like a fairy chances. Uh, so. But it's like more optimal to, to do it. Mm -hmm. like a just you really want that fairy to spawn. <laughs> it's like 9% on the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, if you're gonna see. Oh, oh Maggie's still in the. Oh, didn't. didn't. Yeah, Par's not done the. Par's not done the menu yet. Uh, Par's gonna do the menu now. I'm uh, gonna dump um, all the Pokemon in our party that either have evolved or are going to evolve uh, later. Uh, Mankey, Mankey unfortunately evolves too late. And same with uh, Magic Card. We're gonna see Tadbutt to Pikachu. You know, Magikarp doesn't learn any moves, right? It's like 15 levels to get Gyarados. You yeah, know, just... maybe you should keep it. Yeah, it, it takes way <laughs> too long to, to get it going. But you know, we go to 21 for Oddish. What yeah, is... we, we, you can catch Amber. it. Ooh, ooh, Amber seeing a glowing Geodude going out of their way for it. Okay, King Park got a boost though. Now on Pika's side, what you don't want to do is use the Moonstone stone now. Because you need, it, yeah. you need it for Nido King or Nido Queen in uh, Rocket Hideout. I don't know what idiot would ever do that. <laughs> not me. But... Oh yeah, yes, you can also find rare spawns. Um, we talked about Bulbasaur in Forest, but uh, the way the spawning works, there's like a 0.5% chance that a rare spawn can spawn here. So for this. Area it's Chansey uh, for Route 3 slash Forest Charmander. Forest is well, so Chansey can be nice because it provides a lot of XP. Yeah. Getting Chansey here is it's a lot of experience. It really over levels you and makes kind of the entire Cerulean section just really trivial. You can also find the Fable, which is harder to catch. <laughs> Yeah, at the very least, we are hoping to get to level 15 because that is Misty's gym requirement for us to get in there. And if not, then we have to do Nugget Bridge first, which is annoying and cringe. Yeah, you miss ranges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Amber's catching this Paris too. Mm -hmm. um, so Amber just needs. Okay. Uh, I believe so, yeah. You might be thinking too, uh, with the gym requirements, that there might be, you know, some some difficult ones later in the game. Most difficult one is the 50 couches with Koga, um, but out of all eight gym requirements, those are the only three that actually matter for us. All the other ones will be fulfilled by story stuff or, um, well, Sabrina's is you need a level 45 Pokemon, but we will uh, we will we will definitely have one of those by then. Wow, look at all of the Geodudes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amber, uh, looks like Amber's about to make their way down to the basement of Mount Moon, um, dumping their party right now. Um, Geodude evolves a little too late for us, and we can get Graveler later, and Graveler gives a lot of experience, so um, we're not going to keep that, uh, Geodude in the party. Oh, and Amber oh, there's has the There it is. I don't, I don't think I don't Amber think, particularly needs this think, at all. I don't think Amber's going for it. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, 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 always go for Chansey, it's so it is, it, it isn't glowing, uh, they, Amber only has, yeah, it's still a lot, Amber only yeah, has, yeah, I guess, it's probably a good thing it isn't glowing here, yeah, well, no, but Amber only has two things, right, or is it three, it's Bellsprout, I think it's three in the party, I think it's, no, I think it's just no, the, it's, it's Bellsprout, because she, because she just deposited, it gets in. First, but, oh, so you saw Amber switch to double grates. Um, we found out recently, thanks to Anubis, um, that double double grates is actually a better catch rate than uh, grates slash Pokeball. For the longest time, uh, I guess partly because the circle indicator didn't change color, we thought that uh, Ultra Ult, like for example, Ultra Ultra would be the same as using an Ultra Pokeball. Um, that's not the case. It, it jumps, uh, it helps the catch rate by a significant. Yeah, I didn't see what level uh, Amber jumped up to, but part of the reason why we would go up, like, Chansey is a catch here. It is a difficult catch. You have to bury it. You have to use, you know, double great balls. 
there's kind of a lot of menuing involved to even kind of get it. A glowing um, Clefairy? Oh, man. <laughs> wow, okay. But, uh... Chansey gives a lot of experience, so you can overlevel yourself pretty high. Doesn't matter. Okay, what's the level? On the CD? 17, 18. 18. Okay. Nice chancy level. <laughs> <laughs> this is also good because Eevee is my oh. special attack. Sandy's going for Zubat here. I assume just because they hit it. Yeah, like likely just ran into it. Zubats are annoying. Yes. Talking Amber doing the youngster sand troop fight? I don't I don't know this guy's name. I've never looked at it, but he With has Josh. Sand youngster Josh. Yeah. I just saw it. It's the only reason uh. I know. <laughs> I actually did know off the top of my head for some reason. I think I only know like five trader names in this game. I know there's a Hideki in Dojo that you destroy. Yeah, oh. it's a Hideki in the game. I bet, I bet all the Oras runners are jealous. You just destroy him. <laughs> um, I know... Sophia? Yeah. Yep. Sophia's Dawson. Dawson. My runs. Nelson. They, I know all the Victory Road oh, trainers. Oh, trainers. <laughs> wait, did I just see... Wait, wait. Did oh, I see oh, Amber, Onyx? Amber going for an Onyx. Did I see an Onyx on part screen too? Yes. You okay. Did. So part par chose not to go for the Onyx. Uh, Amber is going for the Onyx though. Um, I mean, we do need a ride Pokemon early. You can ride Pokemon in this game. Um, so Amber, maybe, uh, maybe choosing to get a ride Pokemon <laughs> early here. I think I, Amber I should think ride so. it. I don't think Amber will ride it. But oh, I no. think Amber should ride it. I know we're, I know we're talking about Onyx, but watching the uh, watching Sandy skip or uh, get through that uh, difficult uh, spawn thing there, uh, yeah, that was very uh, good. Squeezing through the Paris and the the wall there, but then hits the Geodude, dude, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. It evens out. It's fine. Yeah, hitting an optional Pokemon here. Um, there's no such thing. Uh, there, there are repels in this game. Uh, they just will make all spawns go away. Uh, we might be using them later in the run, but um, this is not like uh, a, your traditional Pokemon. Well, I guess before Scarlet and Violet came out, um, your traditional Pokemon game where uh, spawns are random. Uh, if you hit a random encounter, it's. I don't really want to say it's your fault because sometimes things just spawn on you. Yeah, um, sometimes but, it's definitely not your fault. Yeah, but sometimes uh, you. You only get into a uh, random encounter if you want to, uh, essentially, um, with the exception of things just spawning on you. Which is nice. Like, yep. this is the first game that introduced this, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, also, Amber has 17 Pokemon in Mount Moon. That is yeah, I, I heard that Amber did a run earlier up to Moon, or like past Moon, and also had 17 in that run. Yeah, I heard that, and I was like, well, there's all the luck. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. Something wow. to note, though, just so that we're all aware, is the timer did start around a minute late just because of some tech issues. So it's not as, like, insane as it seems time-wise, but yeah. still very good. Par opting to take the Helix Fossil. It means you see Kabuto in the cutscene later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, apparently the timer was fixed. Thank you. Oh, oh okay. Fine. Yay, Tech! Thank you, Tech. Sandy also- Another Onyx! Onyx. Okay, the Onyx, the Onyx <laughs> is as rare because uh, the way it works is once you catch a Pokemon, you're on a Pokemon chain, so they're a little more likely to spawn. Um, so that wasn't like a 1% Onyx, but it's still, it's still like a pretty rare Onyx. Yeah, this game has some weird mechanics when it comes to catching. Um, the way the way you're supposed to like shiny hunt in this game and like find shinies, you're supposed to catch the same Pokemon over and over and over and over again, and uh, that'll increase the odds of you seeing that particular Pokemon. So when you're on a catch chain of one, you've caught an Onyx. Uh, more, it's more likely for an Onyx to spawn for you. 
Um, there's a lot of weird things that happen when you start um, chaining Pokemon. Um, check out AOP runs uh, for uh, some of the weirder stuff you can see. Huh? You don't see anything weird. In Eevee. In Eevee. What? In Eevee. Um, we chain 11 Meowths in Eevee. Simply don't chain 11 Meowths. Yeah, yeah well, like you know... <laughs> well, no. It's the only way we know how to make him only spawn. Get so lucky. Get, get lucky. The 0.5%. 0.5%. <laughs> Come on. You know. But all these runners are doing pretty well so far. Uh, up yeah. Here. Um, so. Amber just finishing up the first uh, J and J fight. Um, Jesse and James make an appearance from the anime here as uh, antagonists. Um, Prepare the world. From devastation. Okay. <laughs> Why did you even <laughs> say right. the quote right? I know I didn't. Yeah, I did it. That's Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I, oh, a manky oh, just a manky. Yeah, that manky was coming right for King Par. That manky ran right at Par. Unlucky. He had a mission. Uh, Sandy kind of hanging out here in the grass. Might be looking for Sandy one Sandy needs 15. One. Yeah, that's I, what I'm wondering. I, I don't know how their level is. Yeah, they're grabbing a Spearow. Uh, this does lock them out of Firo. You can catch Firo later in the run, but um, Firo is... But uh, you don't want to. <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't doing... lock, it doesn't lock you out of Firo. You just gotta go for it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't, yeah, do don't, don't go for Firo. <laughs> that. Going for Firo is not great. Um, I guess we'll see what uh, level uh, Sandy is here. Hopefully 15. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, cool. good. So they were just barely outside of the XP yeah. threshold. So, um, the one extra catch is not a big deal. Um, uh, etiquette, Amber uh, Amber went crazy in Moon and caught everything. Um, so, yeah, they're all coming here. You saw uh, Par teach Zippy Zap. It's a very nice move. Uh, Amber gets to teach three moves. Uh, bouncy Bubble, Buzzy Buzz, and... Uh, Slizzly slide, I think, right? Yeah. Slizzly slide. I was about to call it like Bernie Burn or something. <laughs> That's the like true pushy, name. Pushy yeah. Yeah, so uh, this game does have special moves for your starters because your starters can't evolve. We haven't covered that. So you're, the starter you get, you cannot evolve the Pikachu into a Raichu. Eevee, look at that. Eevee has like 37 different evolutions and you can't get any of them. So what they did instead was they gave you special moves. Um, these moves are like actually just insane. Like if you were allowed to use things like this in, you know, VGC, these moves would be completely crazy. <laughs> um, but uh, only the starters learn this. So also the starters base stats are all jacked up too. Yeah. yeah. Better starters are than wild. These are essentially a different Pikachu and a different Eevee. Um, this Pikachu in particular, I believe is 120 base speed. I thought it was 115. It might be 115. I know it's, I know it's crazy fast. Yeah. That's why Pikachu, you can take a minus speed nature and it doesn't affect anything because you just naturally outspeed everything anyway. Yeah. Uh, so we were talking about AOP and ditch build tournaments earlier, but what about Professor Oak Challenge tournaments? <laughs> There's only you so watch... much time in the day. You get to watch, you get to watch everyone catch a thousand bell sprouts slash audition. And Clefairies. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> uh, all the trainers, uh, par just a little bit ahead uh, as far as the uh, Sandy and Amber are almost exactly on the yeah. same spot. Uh, about to start Misty at the same time. Um, King Par has just finished the Misty fight. Um, this fight can be slightly dangerous for either version. Um, Scald is a very good move. Uh, it was so good, Game Freak deleted it from everything's moveset in Scarlet and Violet. Uh, Par, I know, also bought um, the Burn Heals uh, early, but uh, does not have to use them. Scald does have a chance to burn. Another fun fact about Scald is if you're frozen, you can Scald to unfreeze yourself. Yep. Did not know that for like a long, long time. It does come up in this run. Uh, there is a Jinx that can freeze you later in the run, and uh, you can spell to get out of it. Amber, run unfortunately, not being able to one-shot the uh, the Starmie there. 
was very, very close. Is Buzzy Buzz special? Uh, yes. So that my special attack mm -hmm. is the reason I'm lucky. Um, yeah, we're all into Sleeper Bridge. I mean, Super Exciting Bridge. It's so exciting. And we all love it. We can just think about how we're going to see Squirtle when we're done. I would love to see a Squirtle when I'm doing AOP. <laughs> the only time I have ever seen Squirtle has been on my way back from Bill's house here. <laughs> so, nice. like, that's cool. Unfortunately, Par got, Par got poisoned uh, by the Irish. You get poisoned like two more times on this bridge on Pika's side, so... Mm -hmm. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Amber and Sandy both starting the rival fight at the same time. <laughs> this fight is a little faster on uh, Eevee than it is on Pika. Level on 20. Eevee... It's 47 attack up 20 good. It's passable. Okay. The ZV seems eh. It's nice that uh, Amber has extra levels from that chancy. Oh! Sandy also got poisoned by the Oddish. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not a 10% there to get poisoned. When I run Pika, I like get poisoned there like at least on half my runs. Well, it has to use poison powder. It doesn't do it half the time. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Sandy opting to heal the poison here. Uh, Always heal the poison. Always heal it. You can 2C the Sand True fight and just heal it there, um, but it's usually better just to heal the HP off. That's like two fights, though. You should just heal. Always heal. Yeah. Uh, so the Sand True, you can do 2C, like we just said, but it's also a doable 1C to quench. Headbutt has 30% chance to quench. Like right? shit. Yeah, 30%. I am knowledgeable about this game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something to note is that we are able to 2C every fight, except for, I think, water fights you can't. Unlike some later games where they, like, put a weird floating device in the water so you can do it. Um, so you might be wondering why not just decimate everything, but it is quite slow to do that, so we're going to use it sparingly. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, for the most part, 2Cing all the fights... Um, we're going to do it to kind of make setup a little bit faster or mm -hmm. make some fights a little safer. Ooh! Um, we also sand don't want to... Sand attack. Sand attack in the sand true. <laughs> That's not great. Okay. okay. We got through it. We got through That's it. Just right. hit. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Just hit. So, Zippy Zappy mentions the special move. It has plus two priority, so we will have to be most things the entire game because of it. Uh, this Meowth here, and then one more, has Fake Out, which is plus three prior. So... It could go before. It doesn't always use fake out. I feel like it's 50 50. I think my record is like eight no fake outs in a row from the two trainers combined. Yeah, I always, I always say, uh, I always say time loss whenever I get fake out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Par got it. Let's see if Amber gets it. Yep. Uh, Amber gets it as well. Uh, yeah, Sandy, Sandy about to start the fight. Yep. Yeah, all these Pokemon on the bridge, they're very low level. They all go down in one hit. Um, but for the Eevee version, we just learned a bunch of really crazy broken moves. Um, there's actually a super effective one for almost everything on the bridge. Oh, you can't kill the coughing in one move, though. No, I, guess I was talking about. I was yeah, I was I was talking about just the just the guys hanging out on the bridge. Yeah, but, technically uh, just off it. Yeah. Right. Oh, Spiro's still in the party. Yeah, Sandy has not, uh, I don't think Sandy, I think the only thing Sandy did on the menu was just heal off the poison. I don't think, uh, they've deposited anything yet. Will we see uh, Noxkip? I don't think we will. Ooh, Noxkip would be pretty big. Uh, New Amber, uh, uh, deciding to talk to the guy at the end of Nugget Bridge, who turns out to be a Rocket, Team Rocket member. <gasps> uh, spoilers. <gasps> I know. Spoilers. Uh, uh 
uh, if you talk to him while on the stairs of the bridge, uh, it actually changes the battle background. So King Par uh, talked to him on the stairs of the bridge. So the battle oh, background is cool. actually on the bridge. Yeah, if you talk to him uh, in front of him, uh, you'll actually fight him on the grass. It's really strange. I learned a thing. I remember way, way back, this was like so long ago, I was watching an etiquette screen, screen and he was like, I'm going to time if it's faster to get the bridge background or the... the I think Other that was his. Guy. I think that was his GDQ run actually when he ran this game at SGDQ. Uh, it was. It was after that. But, oh, okay. Uh, at least what? I don't, when he, when I don't believe started. anyone has ever timed it. Which one is yeah, faster? I don't think. I don't think anyone <laughs> ever ended up doing that. So. Uh, you'll see on uh, Amber's screen too. There is a guy with a Charmander uh, over there in the corner. Um, this game is actually a remake of Yellow, uh, so it is possible to acquire all three of the Kanto starters during this game, but we will not be getting them. It is very slow to get the three Gift Mons, um, so we will not be acquiring them, but uh, all three of them are in the game. Uh, King Par seeing a, uh, I don't a Venom hat here. No Squirrel Squirts. Uh, nothing in the grass for Sandy other than a Pidgey. No uh, Nox skips. Pidgey later. No Nox skips. So you see how um, that first youngster was like looking to the side. Um, you can use knock skip to like, so you don't have to wait that like one or even less than one second wait time. It's not a huge save time. It's just extra swag. And... It does look really cool when you get it. Yeah. And then also you saw Sandy go between those two trainers. Um, they have like laser vision and not anywhere more than that. <laughs> yeah. most, most trainers are blind. They're like, can't see like far ahead, but you know, there's a few trainers uh, that have like, s that stole all the vision from everyone else and have super vision. And yeah, there's, you off screen. yeah, there's some trainers that have eagle eye in this game. Uh, we saw one in a race, uh, I believe it was Spider. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got it and we got spotted from off screen. Yeah, it felt so bad. I was, I, I know there's some trainers in Fire Red and Leaf Green where if they're off screen and you run into their vision, the game will move the screen up to show the exclamation point and then move <laughs> it back down for them to walk me. I was trying to find a GIF, but I couldn't find it. It's really funny when you see it. Okay, Amber did not did not ditch Bill. But yeah, no, Amber's Lucky. deciding to save Bill. How is ditch Bill not a hidden objective? <laughs> it I mean, might be. It could be. We don't it know. It might be. We don't know. See if uh okay. right, will we see a squirtle on the way back? Small. Will we see squirtle on the way squirtle back? On the way back is uh it's such a tease. Just you're like, oh I want that. Yeah. Nope, just the side. Oh. And just I think a bell sprout. Oh it's a meow. Oh, meowth. Oh. Yeah. Oh. meowth is uh, kind of a Meowth's a kind of cool Pokemon to get for EV version here. Um, you can do a strat very, very late game with it, um, which we'll talk about if when uh, when we get to it. But uh, is one of the only Pokemon that gets to move Fake Out in the game. But why do why do Meow Fake Out strats when you can do a better Fake Out strat? Because better Fake Out strat is a one percent to see that, and it's, it's a miserable catch. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's a miserable catch. I always want to see it. <laughs> no one ditched Bill. Unlucky. Now, uh, we, everybody decided to save Bill. Uh, Bill unfortunately gives you some SS tickets, um, so you can go visit the SSN. Uh, for those of you keeping up with the news, uh, Pokemon announced today some of the um, things that will be going on at the World Championships uh, later this year in Yokohama, Japan, and there will be a real-life SSN uh, that will be docked at the oh. harbor. Yeah, I thought oh, that was really cool. cool. Yeah, oh, that is cool. cool. Yeah, that was really... It's, uh, they're, they, like, I guess they rented out, like, a cruise ship, and you can, like, trade cards and, like, battle on the ship, which is insane to me. I just have enough money to rent a cruise ship for a weekend. But... Yeah, you make eye contact with someone, we're fighting right now. <laughs> Card battle, let's go. <laughs> Can't escape me. Oh yeah, so if you ditch Bill, this cutscene will trigger. So this happened in a run, and then I did it while talking about it. <laughs> uh, yes. 
Yeah, Amber, uh, unfortunately, has to give... You have to give uh, an SS ticket to uh, the rival here. Um, otherwise, we would be able to skip the uh, rival fight that's coming up. But unfortunately, uh, you have to give him one. Yeah, who even knows the rival's name? No one. <laughs> I do. Okay, I think we're back. Hello. Uh, yeah, as Etiquette said, Jordan sabotaged the race, so... <laughs> That's definitely what happened. Yeah. yeah but we're so back. We're so back. what we missed. Oh, sorry, go uh, on. We got to come back. Oh, to... we're about to see a skip here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so nice. he does get the Vermilion skip. So uh, hopefully, we don't know what happened to the other two trainers, if they got the skip or not. Um, I guess we will find out on the way back up. We can see. probably assume they did, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Uh, uh, as you saw, those trainers are part, part of the blind crew. Yeah, they have a their vision is like three tiles and it like is right in the middle and you can kind of cheese their vision by just going between their vision. There's like a couple pixels there where they don't where they can't see. Um I I don't know if I would say it's the hardest trainer skip in the run, but it is definitely in my opinion it's the hardest. It's the hardest. Uh, yeah. Like the Alexa One skip we... is Yeah only hard because it's at the end of the run um, yeah if if it was like beginning of the run you you would like never see it but just because end of the run if you're on good pace um you have some nerves right then it's it's easier to uh her her vision gets better if you're on pv pace is what i hear <laughs> <laughs> if you're on that good pace her vision gets wider so she sees you more often i can't believe Neither of the Pikachu runners have Persian. They're walking so slowly. I uh, can't believe it. Um, oh, we have Kadabra. That's right, Amber got a Abra. Um, a Abra is, what, 5%, 4% on Route 6? And you have to pr approach it from, like, behind because it teleports away otherwise. Um, you can also use the second controller to hit it and pop it in the air so it doesn't teleport away. Um, and Sandy also got an Abra. Looks like Par was not as lucky. Par also has only 15 Pokemon right now, compared to Amber's 20 and Sandy's 21, so. Yeah, so Sandy on 21 catches is the furthest ahead on catches. Um, is now entering the SSN to do the rival three? Three. Three. Technically rival four. Uh, there is an optional rival fight that we skipped. Um, there's a there's a rival fight on route 25. Is that the one from Viridian? No, 25 is Squirtle route. 23? I think it's, I think it's 22. Or 23. Uh, to, I don't know. I think, There's I think 22 might be the water route. I think it is. I think it's 23. I thought 21 is the water route. Well, it's one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, there's an optional rival fight there. Um, th this game is a remake of Pokemon Yellow. Uh, so you'll notice on our two Pikachu runners, our rival has the Eevee. Um, in Pokemon Yellow, how you do in the first two rival fights determines what Eevee Lucian uh, the rival will evolve into. Um, in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, your rival just likes Jolteon, so he just evolves into Jolteon. Um. Oh yeah, so fun fact, after you get cut down from the, the captain, the trainers, like, deactivate, so you can go past them, and they won't fight you. Um, in other categories, you may pick up a nugget here, because it's pretty quick. Um, you can just walk past two trainers' vision, because they're not active anymore for Whatever reason. No yeah, the, fir the first thing we do uh, on this, I think King Par's a little too far to the left. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, King Par just a little too That's far. That's the better, the yep. better trainer to hit because it's Charmander yes. and not a Bellsprout. Yeah, the in in P in Eevee version, failing the skip isn't bad. It's one turn in Pika. Uh, if you're gonna fail the skip, you would want to hit the Charmander. Um, trying to take out a Bellsprout in one hit with the Pikachu is not great. Unless you. I don't know if you wanted to use that. I don't know how many to be steps. Also, didn't uh, one show? They have two left. I think it is. They only need one. So. I think it's one. Yeah. 
I think they, they either need one it. or two. You only, they you just need, need it for there. Radicate. So. It's fine. What is... Huh? Need a Growlithe? I think, I mean, his caches are really low, so maybe he's just yeah. trying to get something. That is, this is, only at this is not, this is not the route to do it, because this route, especially, I say that and two things immediately spawn, but, <laughs> okay, usually nothing spawns here when you're not Oh, did, does, does King Bar have Growlithe? Yeah, King Bar yeah. has Growlithe. I don't, okay, all right. I'm just doing it for Jigglypuff, which I, you can get Jigglypuff later, so. Did, yeah, I'm not did sure. King Bar get, um, did they get Double Moonstone? No, I don't think I, mean. I don't think so. Okay, because we, we we didn't really talk about it. There's there is a free Moonstone pickup on the ground in Mount Moon that we always pick up in Eevee version. Kind of really doesn't matter what you evolve into because we're kind of going to use Eevee for the entire middle section of the game. There is a Nido King strat you can do, um, but for the most part, you can use it on any of the Moonstone Pokemon. Whereas in Pika version, you do want to save it for one of the Nidos. Uh, oh, because Sandy's scaring me. Oh. Oh, Sandy resetting up the skip. Um, so the skip, uh, okay. Sandy getting on the way nice. out. Yeah. So on the way in, there's kind of like a little arrow on the ground, and if you line yourself yeah. up with that, you can you can get it. Oh, it's um, harder on the way in though. I yeah. Know. On on the mm -hmm. way out, uh, you just line yourself up with the tiles on the ground, and you just go right out. So it's it's so much easier on a ride to ride right there. Right <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rhyhorn is a little tough, I think, because it's so, like, wide, but the I, other ones are good. I always dismount Rapidash uh, when I do AOP I'm on my way out See, of that city. I'm like, I'm not Pokemon, risking it. Ride Pokemon's easier. Yeah. I, I always dismount Rapidash. You can do it on Dragonite. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy to do with Aerodactyl. Just go right over him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so... We're fighting now in route 10. This is the route we want to see a lot of Pokemon. Although Amber doesn't need that many. So. Uh, Amber, uh, almost Amber getting stopped by the uh, rotator there. Uh, I don't know what her name is. I know she has a Goldeen though. I don't know what her name is. Um, I'm, I'm like thinking a, of all of the picnic, her, picnic her names, and none of them are that girl. <laughs> Yeah, she's she's one of those trainers that has eagle eye. She'll she will spin and catch you like right as you're walking away from her. If if uh that cycle was weird because usually well I guess I'm on a different cycle, but usually you just YOLO her and she won't see you as long as you don't clip the corner. Yeah. But that time she was looking, so you had to wait. But most yeah. of the time you just YOLO. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Amber about to get Weepin' Bell here. If only we could uh, leave stone. Easy. I know. Unfortunately, the, there are only two stone. Well, technically three. There's three stones in our path. Uh, two of them are a fire stone, um, and the other one is a water stone. Um, we will make use of the water stone, um, but the fire stone uh, can be used to shore up your catches. The Pika version actually makes far more use of the Fire Stone than we do, or than, uh, the Eevee version. Yeah. Did Sandy lore before this? I didn't see the leash in the uh, uh, If you lore... If you lore before I, this fight, there's a chance that at the grass patch that Amber is, that stuff has already spawned off-screen. Um, so that means you're low level, which can be bad for, like, Nidoran, because you need it at level 24. Um, so you have to pay attention. Um, uh, Amber has a uh, Spiro that's been to too many trampoline parks, <laughs> jumping up and down. The birds love to do that. Pikachu does that too. Yeah. So Amber's caught Midoriya male and Spiro. I wonder if Amber will just go because 23 Pokemon already, or if Amber will stay after or check one more time after uh, Lorelei. Yeah, this is where kind of we do a bulk of the catching in this game. You'll see there's a lot of things we can catch in Rock Tunnel. Uh, there's a lot of things on Route 10 that we catch here. Hmm. Will anyone see a Kangaskhan? Oh yeah, do we have that? Do we have that pole up there? 
<laughs> we could make it. Yeah, it's a little late. That <laughs> oh, that's a uh, that's a radical okay. there. Nice Nidoran for Par right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Par oh, actually having the Nido King marked as well, so uh, hoping to do Nido King strats. Nido King is better than Nido yep. Queen. Um, so you, ideally, you want it. But, Nido but, Queen. Uh, Nido Queen does make one fight easier. Um, if no. Yep, but uh, for the most part, you do want Nido King. Either works. It's not like. Yeah, you're not required boss. to get it. It's not a big deal if you don't, but uh, Nido King is the preferred bond. Uh, Sandy seeing a Nidorino. Uh, a okay. rat, a Spiro. Uh, Sandy just going for the <laughs> Oh, Nidorino. do I see a Chansey? <laughs> yeah. I see a Chansey on our screen. Okay, so I, so you don't want to catch Nidor Nidorino unless you're going for Nido Queen strats because Nidorino does not learn poison jab yet at 24. Um, no. The Nidoran, the Nidoran male learns poison jab at 24, so that's why you want to catch it lower. Um, but Nidorino learns it a few levels later. So now Sandy wants to do... Uh, Nidoran. Good experience for the... Oh, uh, Amber uh, getting Rock Tunnel Onyx, but unfortunately <laughs> has it from Mount Moon, so we'll be running from this. Now, uh, Tunnel Onyx is significantly worse. It's so yes. bad. I, I don't think Moon Onyx is a bad play, if you see it. Uh, Tunnel Onyx is never a good play. Uh, Par just not having, like, any good um, mons. Got the uh, Spiro. Yeah. Hopefully something will uh, spawn in its place. Um, every route in the game has a set amount of Pokemon that can be on it. Um, route 10 has four. Uh, that was a very strange motion control moment there from King Par. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else caught that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, every route in the game has a set amount of Pokemon that can be on it. Route 10 has four. So this was the fourth Pokemon that was on the route. So now something will spawn to take the place of the Spearow. You saw um, Sandy just repel um, to get rid of the Pokemon that spawned, and then use a lore again to make them reappear. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a nice trick. Sandy being rewarded for that with a Krabby as well. Um, Krabby is a uh, slightly rare spawn on Route 10. Um, not rare as like Chansey rare, but um, I think it's not very common. Yeah, it's not very common to see here, but uh, it is an extra Pokemon, and it is, uh, I believe it evolves in three Four. levels. Four levels. Four. It evolves at 28. Yeah. Okay, those are not good levels. Ooh, nope. Nice oh, Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. Yep. Pretty oh, early. Still, Amber getting early Rhyhorn. Um, so earlier we mentioned uh, that you can ride Pokemon this game. Rhyhorn is one of the fastest Pokemon you can ride. Um, so it's this is medium. considered... Well, it, at this point in the game, it's uh, one of the fastest okay. ones you can get. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, Amber uh, picking up uh, her bicycle uh, here. Why don't you just catch five Meowths and get Arcanine? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Highly I recommend. Like, I, don't e I don't even like chaining Meowths in AOP. I definitely don't want to do it in any <laughs> Lady is totally faster. I wonder if so. I know. I know recently that there's now Needle King strats. I wonder if Amber will do them, since. Uh, yeah, I don't know. She's going to evolve this new, you know. Uh, uh, they haven't used their Moonstone, correct? They have not. Uh, no, yeah. Because they have uh, marked. Uh, yeah, they have Needle King planned right now. Yep. Uh, switching Rhyhorn to slot two. Uh, we'll be using Rhyhorn as a doubles partner here for a couple fights. Uh, Sandy also grabbing a uh, baby Nido. Yeah. Um, even though they have the uh, Nido right okay. now. Yeah, that's an interesting decision. You need the extra catch. It's not too bad. It, it's it's more interesting if Sandy decides to evolve that Nido, this Nido Well, Sandy they does have, have it, they have it planned for Nido oh, King. Yeah, they do. So they that's, might evolve it. But Nido females already the party. I yeah, like I, I don't know. They might just be more comfortable with, uh... Yeah. Look at this, uh, Firo on, a uh, par screen. <laughs> what oh the? My. 
<laughs> yeah, we were wondering in the other race if they can go this far down. The yeah. answer is yes. <laughs> Wait, Spiro just vibing. <laughs> yeah, so Par still has pretty sketchy catch. Yeah. Yeah, um, Par uh, only. I would have gone for oh that my. in another chance. Oh my. I would I would have gone for these chances because. Yeah, at this point, I think you go for it. Yeah. This um, is. Route 10 is honestly the latest I would go for a chancy. If you see one after this point, it's not worth going for, but. Here, we'll see rare char. Uh, we've not seen a rare char yet. Okay. Amber has so many Pokemon. Amber is at 30 catches halfway through tunnel. Could still get Cubone. Uh, Cubone, Machop. Uh, and I think that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they never does that jiggly. Come on, Par, catch the Chansey. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh. Nope, uh, Par is just saying uh, that'll be it for this route. Uh, they already cut the bush. Said, uh, said no to the lore for some reason. Needs to lore again. Yep. Uh, they already cut the bush. There's two ways around that uh, trainer down there. You can cut the bush, grab the great balls, um, or you can just walk around him. Uh, his yeah. vision's not very good. If you're not getting the great balls, you should not cut the bush. Yep. Uh, there is a uh, par going for a graveler here. Might want to catch. You don't want to catch the onyx, but catch uh, uh, Sandy also uh, going to do some party management here. Or is 20 that bad? It's been so long, sorry. Maybe 20 is not that bad. So. Um, 20 is... It's dicey, but it's it's doable. Uh, you might have to go for Tentacool at the end. Tentacool Grinder. Okay, so Amber is keeping Needle King in. Yeah. So, Needle King strats on Eevee is what I'm Ooh. seeing. Par is going to get three evolutions on <laughs> catch. Yep, uh, so Par needs a uh, restroom break. Now is a good time. Evolutions are about 30 <laughs> seconds. So go grab a sandwich or something, because we got, uh, we got a bunch of them coming up on Par's screen. Ooh, five times Comet Punch. Unlucky. That's rough. At least it was burned, so it's sad. Oh, look, it's a Kanga in tunnel. I can't believe it. <laughs> no, who had the Kanga? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm getting mean Every time I every time I see that guy's Kanga, I'm just like, can I just take this, please? Like an AOP. Please, oh. uh, trying to dodge that uh, that round. Oh no! Amber, but unfortunately, there was no way. Yeah, it does take up quite a lot of screen space. Yeah, I think I don't she know. was trying to get off, like in the corner, to get off of the mount to try to get through, but it did not work. Yeah. These spawns are unfortunate. If I'm assuming, I'm assuming Amber didn't. But if uh, they had bought the repel in Vermilion, I would have considered repelling, using the repel there to get rid of it, even though she still needs... Uh, Amber actually getting a oh. uh, Machop oh, here. Out. Yeah, uh, both Sandy Ooh. and uh, Amber having Machops uh, at the moment. Um, so that actually, that puts Amber to 31 right now. Amber is on very good pace to just cut quite a lot of stuff out at the end of the game. Hey, are you ready for Tower Cubone? Tower Cubone. <laughs> yep, Amber's not gonna find a Cubone and then gonna get Tower Cubone. We'll also see the Horn Drill from the there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we don't use Flash because it's not dark in this game, even though it's Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> Yeah, we can still see. I didn't I didn't even get it casually. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of out of the way, isn't it? Do you have to go through like Diglett Cave and like pop yeah, out it... of the route or something? Yeah. You also have to go through um, a cutscene. Uh, you might notice we mm. actually skipped uh, Lieutenant Surge's gym. Oh yeah, missed it. We're to do that later. Uh, but if you fight Surge right, uh, right there, there is you do have. There's like a cutscene with Misty. That's quite a long cutscene. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, that cutscene. Getting... For what? 
a god. You know, are actually getting a Rhyhorn on their screen. A um, lot of, lot of uh, King Par getting motion controlled. Uh, balls coming from the corner of the screen. <laughs> Oh, not the breakout too. Oh, no, not the. So this is one of the um, mo Pokemon that the double great balls really helps. Uh, this one in uh, Graveler uh, really helps. Oh, Makes yes. Sense. I believe Graveler with Berry and double great is like a ninety-nine percent chance to get in. <laughs> it's guaranteed. If you ever see Pokemon attack. Um, and the circle doesn't disappear, it means they're about to run, so you kind of just Wait, have to like... did that happen? Yeah. Uh, I think that might have just happened. Oh, <laughs> it, no. It, it, it was preparing to run. Was, oh, no. This is pretty likely, so it shouldn't... Yeah. yeah it, it'll, it'll stay in this time. But that might have been about to run. Uh, Sandy fighting against a Pokemaniac. Uh, Kangaskhan? Is this Ashton? I don't uh, know. Maybe. I think Ashton's the first one. I only know Sophia. <laughs> yeah, Sophia's the uh, the cadaver trainer uh, later here. The Vulpix that can burn. Oh, Amber's fighting. Yeah, Amber's right. fighting Sophia right now, actually. That's uh, a good Amber, dodge. Amber choosing to 2 see that fight as well. Have to wait yeah. on the uh, rotator up here. These players are not getting. They're getting all these Pokemon spawns that are in their way from progressing into through Rock Tunnel. It's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> no Kanga for Amber. Wait. There's oh, still oh there's still there's still chance. <laughs> still chance. <laughs> still chance. Oh, apparently uh, Amber got uh, confused. Uh, it's Kanga for the third time. Away. Where no are way. these Kangas? Yeah, no way. Where, where, are, where, are, these are, you, where are these Kangas when I do AOP runs? Um. Bouncy. Oh, it's faint! Yeah. Oh, look, it's a faint! Oh! <laughs> Call Randall an aspect. <laughs> I said Randall should send his cart to Nintendo for inspection. Because I think his cart's bugged. Okay, so Sandy did catch the Nidoran male and the Nidorino and also a Nido King. I hope. See, I assume Sandy evolved the right one. Uh, we'll I would find assume out. so. Yeah, well, I'd we'll assume so out. because the the male one had to evolve, would still be in the party, and the other one wouldn't yeah. be in the party. So I assume. Oh, oh, Sandy, what? That was a little <laughs> too close there. Oh well, yeah, we never mentioned the rotators. Their vision disappears as soon as they start moving, so you can see some uh, some very funky. <laughs> yeah. Passes. Uh, Amber Very spicy. To enter uh, tower here uh, for the rival four fights. Um, this, I believe, in uh, this is going to be the first fight where we see our rivals evolved starters uh, in Eevee version. So we will have Raichu here for this fight. This is such a fight. I don't know. Yeah, this fight. Uh, this fight back uh, during the one controller days was uh, quite an interesting fight. Uh, we had to buy quite a lot of items to make this fight work. Uh, but now with two controller, it is uh, three turns. See, I was confused because Pikachu just always used two controllers. So I'm like, what one controller days? Yeah, in the, in, the, uh, in the Eevee version, yeah. uh, we used to have to buy like a guard spec and like an X speed and like all this other stuff. Like, it was, it was a miserable fight. But uh, now with this fight, it's just uh, you just uh, get a little bit of extra experience and uh, yeah, you just watch out everything now. Yeah. Um, Sandy also has a ridiculous Pokemon count. Um, I'm standing at 33 right now in um, tunnel. Yeah. Uh, so that's also pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, actually, has more catches than Amber. Amber's at 31 on rival. Uh, Sandy at 33. Still not done with tunnel, but I believe Sandy has all of the Pokemon that you would normally catch in tunnel. Uh, they have Cubone. They have Machop. They have Rhyhorn. Um, yeah, they, they, yeah, well, they, they did not catch. They they are they caught the Zubat Moon Zubat, so they can't get gold. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I mean, with this catch they don't really do it. Yeah, you can go for Golbat. 
Just like he can go for Firo. Just like Firo. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those mods that, like, you can go for it. It's not recommended, but you could. No rare charms yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right now, uh, Amber has 51 planned, Sandy 54 planned, and Parth actually uh, with the most 55 planned. So, uh, likely be cutting some later on. Um... Amber, uh, the only runner who has already cut Tentacool, uh, from their route. Well, <laughs> as they should. Yes. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy could definitely cut, cut Tenta from yeah. their route. Um, I, I said in a race that the first hour and a half of this game for me is doing everything in my power to skip Tentacool. <laughs> doing everything you can to skip that. Well, that you know, match. just get, just get the Tentacool that was in my run because it never moved. Yeah, you had, like, the most, like, calm tentacle in the world. Yeah, I was like, what? Um, you saw Amber go up to the floor, that's important, because it lets us, uh, do hideout. If you don't go up to the floor and trigger that Cubone cutscene, also Tower Cubone, OMG, um, then you have to, like, walk back if, if uh, you didn't. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. It's sad. Rough. The, uh, the uh, walk of shame. I also did that. <laughs> like, any dumb thing, I've probably done. <laughs> The only dumb thing I haven't done is, uh, is, uh, the Mark Walk of Shame at the very beginning. So, metronome, so what, what moves, I call Horn Drill, what moves do you think we're going to see? Uh, I don't think we're going, uh, I don't think we're going to see, I think it's, we're going to see Faint. Uh, oh, wait, we're not going to see anything. <laughs> yeah, we're not. I think we're going to see a Faint here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know it's Dino King. I think it's yeah. gonna use Poison Shaft. Yep. <laughs> I did not see the Dino King swing. Hey, Dynam agrees. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so, Amber, going around these uh, this little minefield of trainers here who all have terrible vision, uh, can't see you in any way. That old dude has a Rhyhorn with Horn Drill. This is the only move it knows. <laughs> yes, uh, the the uh, the gambler trainers they only know Oko moves in this game. Oh, it's all the gambler. I did not. Yeah, know. all the gamblers have uh, Oko moves. It's really funny. Yeah, I accidentally hit that one and it was super scared of getting <laughs> wrecked by one. <laughs> it missed all five, thankfully. Uh, I have had a run die uh, to the Clefairy trainer who got guillotine and one shot in my EB. Oh, so, uh, wow! I, I called Sounds it a like... night after that run. Sounds like you should just do Needle King's trance from now on. <laughs> like, hey, Jigglypuff for Amber. Amber uh, getting Jiggly here. Uh, this is a uh, this will give Amber fifty two planned. Um, so that's nice because it, yeah, having an even number is a lot easier to start cutting stuff uh, than having an odd number. Um, how do we? Yeah, so an Eevee version, uh, so for, for Pikachu version, the Firestone, that's the free pickup uh, that's coming up here for our two Pika players. Uh, there is one that's in the middle of that trainer minefield, um, and you most likely use that for um, Growlithe uh, if you don't get Arcanine, or if you don't get Rhyhorn. Um, but in Eevee version, uh, it can be used on Volpix for Ninetales to kind of shore up your catch route a little bit. If you need one uh, to kind of even some stuff out, uh, that does provide that. Yeah, what a nice throw on that Zubat. Zubat is hard. Very nice. Yeah, Zubat's very You just throw it down. and hope it. You just hope. You just want to hit it. Okay, look Amber, at look uh, at Amber Amber's getting Amber's modest. <laughs> We're setting their nature. <laughs> Who would ever forget that? Yeah, no one. Know. No one's ever forgotten that. Right? Yeah. Nope. No one. No one's definitely gotten a quiet start me in this uh, yeah. tournament yet. No one. Um, so Par is looking is. Is staying? I don't know. Yeah, Par was, uh, I think Par was looking for no, one Par's going. On. Yeah, uh, Par's just, uh, moving on. Um, 32, no 33, 28. Um. No Machop. No Machop. Still marked for them, uh, but no Machop. Um, they do have one more chance to see Jigglypuff here. Uh, two if they decide to cut the bush. They are on Pika, so they might, um, to get Arcanine here. Arcanine's faster than the Rhyhorn. Yeah. That's also it's also why it's less of a deal to not find Rhyhorn on Pika. Um, 
Eevee doesn't have any alternatives. Yeah, on Eevee, I think you lose 40 seconds by not getting a Rhyhorn. Like, and that's counting if you see Ponyta immediately as you walk on the route, not counting if you have to go all the way down the route. Yeah, there's still, there's still a couple of bonuses that Par can pick up uh, on the next route. Um, Abra does spawn on the next route. Um, Jigglypuff can spawn. Um, you can always get Pidgey into Pidgeotto here. Really. But yeah, Gloom. Oh, Flying Controller? Uh, nope, we just uh, we just forgot to summon second player, so. Yeah, the Gloom, unfortunately, like, walls Pikachu, like, Grass Poison just walls Pikachu, uh, unfortunately, so. You have to use this video game. Yeah. Early, early game is the, the Glooms and then the Sand Shrews. But we did not one-shot the Pidgeotto there. Should have T-Bolt, dude. Uh, there was T-Bolt. What?! Yep. Oh wait. Yeah. What? What? I. What level is this game? Uh, I can't tell. Thirty. Twenty-five, I believe. Okay, that is why. It's usually like twenty-six or higher. Although I guess that's one level. Uh, Sandy going usually. to. Sandy going and cutting the bush. Gonna go get their Arcanine. Well, with the naughty Pikachu, you might have been able to. Sippy Zap in one shot. I'm not sure of the actual counts, um, but that could have been an option. You like these slow tiles? They're so slow. Sandy going around uh, the gambler. Rocket Howard has a big, huge variance of strats for between the games. Um, I know a lot of work was done. Uh, for like full versions to have like little better setups, you could do one controller, two controllers, uh, depending on what happens. Um, still using Nido King strats for Amber. I, was, so I, I didn't. Yeah. yeah, I know for EV version, this is where a bulk of our like healing is actually done. We kind of save a lot of super potions here by just using more bouncy bubble on things. Uh, Sandy finding Eradicate now. Uh, Eradicate, good experience. Don't think you need to bury that. But... Probably not, um, but uh, it's good to kind of guarantee the catch. Should stay in here with double greats. It wasn't, I think, missed the excellent. It's it did miss the excellent, but uh, it does stay in the ball, so does get the Machop uh, level. There is a strat you can do with the Machop on the upcoming Eradicate fight for Sandy, but uh, just depends on what level the uh, Machop is. Uh, it's not slot. I don't think uh, you can do that if we get you. Um, you double it. Yeah. You on Eevee, it's, uh, it is a strat on Eevee uh, where you have level uh, 25 Machop. You can brick break it. Okay, hey, Sandy's getting modest. Let's all cheer. Woo. All right, Sandy, Sandy getting uh, the modest nice. nature. All right, set it to modest, so. It's three and one, so it's like the third option on the first option. Uh, I actually remember it by it being the opposite of modest. So on the stat screen, whatever color is blue is the decrease stat. Whatever color is red is the increase stat. And the colors Which makes are no blue. sense. Yeah, so the colors that you pick are red and blue in that order, and they are in the same position where uh, attack and special attack would be. So that's how I remember it. It's the reverse of what it would be. You get to play as Eevee. Look at it. Isn't that so nice? Yep. So, yes, uh, I love of, it. All, of all the things that uh, you could stand on in that room to get up to that air vent, uh, we picked the most dangerous thing possible. Should I um, do that in real life right now? I guess. No. <laughs> I mean, uh, don't worry, it's not like uh, kids play this game or anything. It's not like this, I do uh... think 
The cardboard box could be a little sketchy too, depending on if there's anything in it. The cardboard yeah. box is probably sketchy. <laughs> Like, I can right now stand on my rolly chair. No. 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 <laughs> Wait, a it's video game said I could. It's not an imitatable act. I don't want you to die live on stream. <laughs> <laughs> These tiles are so slow. Yeah, they are terribly slow. Um, I don't know what Jesse and James Strat Amber is doing. I don't even know the EV strats at this point anymore. Um, I believe they're going to do the uh, Rhyhorn Nido King fight. Okay. There's a bunch of different strats. I, I did see Amber did get Glitzy Glow, but I mean, you need that for later fights. Yep. Yeah. The Glitzy Glow is a, I believe, base power 90 psychic move that also sets up light screen. So it's uh, very useful for this fight in particular because we want to kill this Arbok as fast as possible because it knows glare. Uh, it hits really hard. Um, this is the second hardest J and J fight uh, in the game. Uh, the hardest J and J fight is actually coming up here uh, after this one. Uh, yeah, we're going for axe attack drill run here. Ooh, poison. Oh, oh poison. Okay, so we one shot at the Arbok there. Sandy also doing. We need a right one. Uh. No. I'm not sure. No, they still have Pikachu in spot one. Interesting. Oh, and Amber's Eevee uh, has uh, oh, taken no. a death. Is that intentional? Uh, no, they just barely missed the KO on the Weezing. It's at like oh. one HP. Well, at least we got the three revives from the rival earlier, so... Yeah, we're reviving the Eevee now. Yeah. Shouldn't mess up anything for experience. Um... Amber's EV is pretty high level. Also, battle. so this is where the my special attack hurts. Yes, um, uh, we likely would have hit that range with uh, uh, neutral, even neutral. Yeah. So. Uh, that was unfortunate. Let's see what happens for these. This these three fights are like a gauntlet, kind of. Yeah. This is yeah. Um, these are three very tough fights uh, in our hunt. Uh, so this is uh, Amber's coming up on Archer, who, if you've played Heart Gold and Soul Silver, will know is one of the Rocket admins in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So they kind of brought him back as a kind of a homage because this is a Gen One remake. So uh, they brought back one of the Gen Two characters to see what he was doing three years before Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, and he uh, he is not a speedrunner's favorite fight in any any sense of the word. No, we don't. Uh, we do not like fighting Archer. This fight is not that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Uh, the second Archer fight, however, uh, when we get to it, um, is uh, turn around. Uh, yep. Oh, Amber has poisoned turn again. Yep. Poisoned again. Yep. Come on, Evie, shake it off. Hey! Yeah, there, we oh, no. uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, there I think we the go. Heard you there, Joker. I think the over yep. Eevee heard you. All thanks to me, obviously. <laughs> Eevee just gets attacked by everything. Oh, oh my God, didn't... Greta, that, Greta, that's adorable. I just saw what you posted in chat. That's adorable. <laughs> that this mono special attack is really coming to. Yeah, it's we're missing a lot here. of ranges here. Luckily for the next fight in this gauntlet. Uh, it doesn't matter as much. This is why you don't take my special attack yet. Nope. Sandy, uh, now going across and grabbing, uh, the lift key there. Got to play as Pikachu for a little bit. Uh, Par coming up on that section, uh, now just did the 
I believe that was the Raticate Trainer, or not the Raticate Trainer, the Rattata Voltorb Trainer. Yep. Did the more traditional one controller strat. Um, I don't know how good this Nido King is. Um, but. I. Uh, one thing to note uh, is that um, Amber does have uh, a plus defense nature, so they are impish. Uh, this is like the only fight where being plus defense matters. It was all uh, intended. Yeah, this Persian is an absolutely miserable fight. It does so much damage. Uh, its main attack, Slash, has a very high crit rate. I think Amber's gonna go for the two turn here. Yep. So Sizzly Slide Headbutt does get that. Uh, but you did see we took a lot of damage in doing that because we had to set up an X attack as well. You also saw that turn take forever because status lag, like when something is static, We did like not bird, kill the Rhyhorn! Oh my I've what? never seen that! What? <laughs> I have never seen the Rhyhorn not die there in one hit. Minus special attack, everybody. Minus special attack. Rhyhorn doesn't even have. Yeah, I didn't even know the Rhyhorn could live that. Rhyhorn doesn't even have good special defense, right? Yeah. Like, isn't it pretty poor? I like always assumed that like you would just. Uh, I always assumed that you would like a zero. You took that out, but I guess like wow. Okay, uh, picking Amber up actually, the Max vibe. Yeah, for Amber grabbing the, uh, the backup <laughs> Max vibe that's there. <laughs> I think maybe after seeing uh, the EV special, we might be thinking this this is a good idea. At least the Eevee only has to do like three more fights. <laughs> yeah, Eevee, Eevee's time is almost done. It's almost time for us to go get our new uh, our new main, but uh, we do have a couple more fights that we have to do with Eevee. Amber is going to go pick up the backup Ultras as well. Did uh, did King Park get modest? Um, I think it was... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, I know Sandy did. I didn't... Uh, well, I don't know why... I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that would forget, so I don't know why I'm worried. <laughs> oh, Pikachu! Pikachu's running on two legs! Pikachu's running on two oh, legs! I love it. Nope. Um, that's the best. I, I used to be able to do that, and I guess I do something differently now, because it never happens to me anymore. But you can, you can make Pikachu run on two legs. Yeah. It's so funny. So Amber, uh, talking to my favorite NPC in the game, this is the guy that will give you... Uh, Floaty Fall or Sky Dash, whatever it's called. Whatever the Floaty Fall? Whatever, Floaty yeah, Fall whatever. is a Pika move that <laughs> yeah. we could learn. Uh, it was used in some category where Pikachu fought Erica for some reason and he used Floaty Fall. I think it's like 90 accuracy or 95 accuracy. Yeah, I think it's, it's always paralyzed or something. I don't know. Or is that the Surf one? Something I like that. But anyway, I, I, like that, I like that NPC because uh, um, he talks to you through a megaphone while you're standing like a foot away from him. <laughs> uh, also gives sunglasses. you the most safe flying, flying device. Yeah, it's just a lawn chair with like some balloons strapped to it. Uh, Amber heading up into uh, tower now. Um, the only Mon that can spawn here, um, Amber does not have Cubone, right? No. So Amber can see Cubone here as well, but uh, Ghastly is kind of the main thing we want to catch here. It's not required. Uh, Amber kind of has enough Pokemon for it not to matter, but um, it is something we kind we would like to see, but it's not really needed uh, with Amber's catch route. Uh, there are a bunch of them on screen right now, but as soon as the cutscene ends, uh, they just go away. So. Sandy getting... Does Sandy run out of Thunderbolts? Why? Maybe? Why Zippy Zap back. Well, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> still has enough X attacks for this fight because you need three of them. I think Sandy. Uh, I think they also, um, King Par doing an older strat yeah. for J and J one, which is uh, you kind of put like a bait Pokemon in the left side, uh, and you got power of <laughs> love as well. Um, uh. <laughs> No, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's very good, good actually. Um, now you just get it's like an extra. It's a free turn of healing, so now um, you don't want power of Yeah, you now don't you don't want it. it. Yeah. Hopefully um, the Weezing attacks this fairy. Yeah, the old strat there. You just put a bait on, and uh, Jesse and James normally have kill AI, so they'll go for it because it's a free KO. But um, sometimes, uh, sometimes it doesn't, and uh, and that's the end of Clefairy. So. 
I remember back, way back when, there was a clip of Etiquette Power of Loving like three or four times in a row and it ruined him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amber uh, stepping on the heel pad there, getting a free heal uh, for their party. Yeah, Sandy did the doer, uh, Rhyhorn, Needle King Strat. Yep. Looks like this Persian fight's going pretty well. Yep, uh, Sandy, about we set up uh, pretty high. Um, we keep double kick on the Pikachu. On Eevee, we delete it pretty much right after Mount Moon, but on Pikachu, uh, we keep it for this fight specifically uh, because we need a way to take out this Rhyhorn. So we set up to plus six attack uh, and then helping hand um, to pretty much make us plus eight attack and uh, kind of take it out there and just uh, one hit. Yeah, it, it could be a range of plus six, so you help a hand anyway. Uh, if, you, if you have good enough attack, um, you can, and a high enough level, you can even plus four helping hand. Um, but for this category, that's super rare. And it just saves the many time using uh, another X attack, so it's not like too big of a thing. Yeah. No tower, yeah. Did, did it, no Ghastly. Not yet. Uh, Amber still has uh, the little bit of section of this room left for it to spawn. Uh, Sandy just finishing up Hideout, uh, and uh, King Par about to start the uh, Gauntlet. Uh, just finished J&J &J 1 and about to start Archer 2. Uh, Amber, oh, there's, there's the gas. Oh, yep. Nice. Do you lure for tower? I do not lure for tower. I, I still lure for tower, but if I don't see it by the time the first lure runs out, I just dismiss the lure. I give it one lure, and if it doesn't spawn, I don't worry about it. I don't worry. Amber, using the Nanab. Yeah, Amber uh, using Nanab to make Ghastly not uh, jump around a bit, um, going ultra great um, for this. 13, so Amber picked up... Oh, look, look how close Sandy is to this guy. He's just screaming in a megaphone. <laughs> I guess See, it I never noticed that off. I never noticed that before. <laughs> I feel like with Amber's catch count, she didn't really need to. Um, Amber get has the back up Ultra Balls, but hey, well, whatever. It is 50... a race. Yeah, they have fifty-two plans. Um... Skip the coughing because coughing stinks. <laughs> yeah, you can ditch coughing. Um... But we'll see what pops up. Cause they still have nine tails Pidgey... mark as well. Um, they still have nine tails mark. They don't have Raticate either. Yeah, they need a uh, Pidgey, Raticate, Ponyta, Doduo to spawn on this next round. So. Yeah. Oh, and go and 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 side up. Well, yeah. Say. Yeah. There's a lot uh, Amber's going to need going on to 17, but um, you can cut the Raticate and the Nine Tails if you want um, and get coughing, or you can just cut coughing and do Nine Tails Pidgeot. Um, you can oh, cut Raticate. Pikachu strat on Eevee. Having the Jigglypuff stack and yep. then bringing up the new king. Sorry, go on. Yeah, Ember going for uh, old strat there, but um, it does work. I, Ember, I don't think got double moonstone. No, uh, I think uh, yeah, Amber I think had so many catches, it. there was no way it could happen. Yeah, and I think too, like with the with the special attack on Amber's uh, EV, probably just saying, you know what, um, we're gonna go to old strats here to guarantee that we can kind of take this thing out. Um, Amber's special attack not the best. Yeah, we're done with the my special attack mattering. Oh no. Yep. This is uh. This is oh, that was. Light. Oh, that was really unfortunate. Oh, Sandy getting hit by uh, the spinner that is down. Um, normally their vision isn't very good, um, but they only have two Pokemon. I think they're both a Ghastly. Um, it's yeah, fine. It's, just yeah it's pretty hard. low level. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just not a big start. deal. Um, hitting a spinner in here isn't the worst. Um, I think there's one trainer that has like four Ghastlies, but they're really out of the way. You have to go out of your way to get hit by them, so... Um, oh, it's Haunter. Oh, they have Ghastly Haunter. Well, now he's Sucker Punch because... <laughs> oh yeah, and Sandy's my special. Okay, that was a little worse. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's, a, there's a free heal uh, on the next floor, so... Um, 
It's not the end of the world there. Um, Amber uh, doing some party management here, getting rid of Jigglypuff, getting rid of our Eevee. Um, so say goodbye to Eevee. That'll be the last time you guys see it because um, our other two runners are Pikachu. Except no. Eevee is on our head forever. Yes. Also, so now. also you'll see, you can see it on Route 17. <laughs> oh, you can see it on Cycling Road. That's true. Or not Cycling Road. What's, what's it called in this game? Pokemon Road or something? I, I think call so. Route 17. Yeah, there's, there's no like bicycle in this game, so there's no Cycling Road. Um, Amber grabbing the Pewter Crunchies and the tea from Brock. Uh, that's important to get into the um, Saffron City later. Um, this game is not like uh, Generation 1 where uh, it was, they kind of didn't tell you you should buy a drink for them from the vending machine and give it to them. They just assumed you'd figure that out. So unfortunately, this Snorlax is moved from the other games. The other games is after the cut bush. This game is before the cut bush. Um, I do want to note that Sandy... Uh, is letting their Growlithe follow them. So we have a yeah. puppet on screen. Well, the plan is there is Sandy's going to sack this Growlithe um, and then can ride the Arcanine. We'll evolve the Arcanine after fighting Jesse. And it won't be there. leveling or anything because it's dead. No. Yep. Well, there is a puppers on screen. We love to yeah. see it. We do love if, to see the puppers. If the Snorlax was behind the cut bush, you could cut the bush and then you could fly on Pokemon Road and uh, get pied out. At least for a little bit. Wait, was that Tower, tower Cubone? That is Tower Cubone. That is Tower Cubone. <laughs> Sandy, uh, Sandy does have Cubone, so not going to be going for that. Amber cutting the bush, uh, going for the Pidgey. Uh, Amber, so Amber is going to be getting Pidgeot here, um, as they still have uh, Pidgeot marked as well. This is fine. Cup push is yeah. a little slow, but... Yeah, know, I think I think it's needs good, a bunch of... Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, because you want Pidgey to be, like... If, if you're going for Pidgeot, you want Pidgey to be one of the first things you catch on the route, because it needs two levels to get to Pidgeot, whereas most of the things we're getting here, uh, they're only going to uh, gain one level by the time we do. Oh, and getting Doduo as well, so... Cutting the Bush actually working out for Amber uh, really well. So Doduo, I think... I don't know if if Amber plans to do fire blast strats later, but I think I think uh, uh, drill pack right will be either not a thing or will be in a different move. Spot. It's in a different slot. The normal. Yeah, it's in a different slot. It's slot two if you do it normal. Slot three if you do it before uh, the guardhouse. I think it's slot three. It's been a while since I've caught to do all this early. I always catch it in 17. Yeah, I always I always get it after the guardhouse. Hey, everyone got Ghastly? Yeah, nice. Para saw two, but they were both, like, completely back out of the way. So here's the one that was actually where it needed to be. Okay, Amber getting the first trainer skip on this route. Um, oh, as long as you... The wall. Oh, oh, uh, pony oh there was a pony immediately. Nice. Yep, the rich get richer. Is Amber low on lures? Uh, I think Amber has two left, maybe three. So, might just be a bat. Might just be like a safety to ensure yeah. that we get the uh, ensure that we get the um, the star you to spawn. Does does the does one a lot of catches to avoid the tenta? Like wants to see. Well, actually, only needs side up. Now. Uh, correct. Uh, we just need Psyduck and we can get uh, out of here. Uh, well, you can get Raticate Mansion if you really need it. Oh, yeah. So, in it, honestly, uh, Amber could probably leave this route without Raticate and then in Mansion go for like Magmar or Raticate or, I mean, even Tangela isn't, well, Tangela's not good either, but, you know. Um, just Vile one one percent. Or, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, not Vileplume. Victory yeah, Bell is 1%. Victory Bell is 1% on that route. <laughs> but yeah, um, Amber just needing Psyduck now. Uh, and can can leave without the Psyduck. Uh, we, could, we should mention that. she that They can leave without the Psyduck um, and just get Tentacool. Tentacool is not a great catch, but... Um, no, they don't even need... Ten no, no, no. They have 52 plans. So 
Oh, they do have 52 planned, yeah. So they don't we need can, uh, we can just yeah. bail. So if we if we see Psyduck here, um, we can cut coughing, and then um, Amber just Amber's done. Uh, would just, just need eradicate. Nine tails. Yep. Or alternatively, could just if they don't see eradicate, could just catch a coughing or tentacle yep. and just or go because they didn't pick up the Firestone, so they could uh, just not pick up the Mansion Firestone. Did Amber get the first Firestone? No, Amber no. skipped it. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Went around, boom, cut push. I don't know what Amber prefers. Probably just prefers getting Eradicate. Yeah, Eradicate's good experience, too, so... Rapidash and Aerodact are the fastest Pokemon. They're also the reason why this category exists as NMS, yeah. um, because they can skip trainers. Uh, unfortunately... Okay, okay there's a side uh, uh, Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say, unfortunately, uh, Amber being on a Ponyta chain was not helping there, but uh, there was a side spawn, so... It was funny because yeah, still... like she saw it spawn, I was like, oh, I need to avoid this, and then I realized, oh, like, it's oh, a no, wait, That's a duck. Or a fish, <laughs> rather, actually. Also, we're oh, still the yeah, top yeah. half. Still in the top half of the route. Yeah. Amber's got everything. I, I know Amber caught two things on on 16 or whatever, but still. Yep. So only one catch left. Or two Sandy. catches, sorry. sorry. Yep, just With two. the big puppy. Um, realistically, big it would be just one uh, because we only need to catch the Raticate. And then we just start you. Oh, uh, we'll... you. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Shh, two. No spoilers. They don't, they don't know what the paint <laughs> is yet. Shh. I wonder if Amber will still get, uh, get safety silver razzes. I mean, I guess. Nope, just skipping them. Nope, just skipping them, yeah. There's a, there's another set of silver razzes. I forgot them in my race, um, so I had to go grab the AOP backups, but um, so Amber just saying we don't need this, so. Yeah, I mean, only like two catches left. And... Okay, so Amber is just going to catch a coughing. Uh, yep, uh, coughing will do it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to skip Radicate in Ninetales. Yep, just need the star and the uh, coughing, and that is it. So Amber uh, doing everything uh, right and skipping tentacle. <laughs> what fossil did uh, Amber pick up? I assume Helix. Uh, yeah, Probably. they are, all three runners picked up Helix. Okay, so you're going to see Kabuto three times. Yeah. Uh, they did not want or to save. Uh, they did not want to save one eighth of the frame by picking <laughs> Dome. But it's farther away. It is farther away, but it's it's an, it's a uh, characters are eight frames per second. So you either move and save uh, like one frame, or you. Uh... It's good. Yep. Uh, Sandy about to run uh, from the Snorlax. The Snorlax, I believe, gives more experience than any of the members of the Elite Four do. Um, so it's sad that we don't uh, we don't get to catch it, but. Um... Uh, check out the AOP run if you want to see us uh, fight a Snorlax. <laughs> but you don't catch that one. one. You don't no, you don't that catch one. that one. You catch the other one. Unfortunately, it raises its defense, which is part of the reason why we don't catch it. Uh, also, we just have nothing to quickly beat it. Yeah, there's not nothing, you know. But when we go get the second one, we uh, might have Mewtwo. Yeah, we have uh, we have Mewtwo. Well, or you could just get it in uh, Cerulean Cave. Yeah, you can get lucky. Uh, it does help with the. Um, your uh, Dratini experience as well if you get it in a uh, cave. Oh, Amber uh, checking out how uh, Rapidash is doing. Uh, looks like <laughs> it's enjoying the weather outside. I think nice. that's what that text box said. Yeah, I think so. This is, oh, uh, there's oh, a star. Oh, nice. immediate star. Uh, let's check out the is alive. Uh, yes, uh, 1062. So that's, uh, that's a, mm, it's a little, a little on the lower average. end. But... I think it's average. Yeah, yeah about average. At least all these stars will be modest. It's nice. Uh, and that is Pidgeotto there for Ember. Yeah, uh, the CP is a lie up there. We kind of use the CP to gauge whether or not the Starmie is going to be good or bad. Uh, but uh, it's a it's a combination of all of the Pokemon stats. So mm -hmm. for all we know, uh, this for all we know this 
Darmy that Amber just got uh, has 31 special attack, 31 speed, and then zero in the rest of its stats. So, <laughs> uh, which is, it'd be average for stats, but it'd be really good for speed running. And Sandy doing basically the exact same thing as Amber here, cutting the bush, getting Pidgey, and then getting Doduo. <laughs> okay, let's... Hopefully Amber doesn't get off screen by a Don't, don't yeah. even say that. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator's curse. It doesn't exist yeah. when I'm commentating. <laughs> don't worry, fate will happen to no one. Now looking over, uh, King Par about to start the uh, catching section here on Route 17. King Par is going to need a lot uh, going in here. They have 55 planned right now. Um, Jigglypuff, uh, Jigglypuff and the Nidos are still on their tracker, so those ones, uh, uh, we obviously can't get those ones. So it Also like, Machop. Yeah, you know, Machop is still planned as well, so that's the five. So we have exactly 50 planned, so King Par is going to need everything to spawn. Um, I, don't, I don't know, will there be enough XP to go around? Uh, there should be. I think everything gains at least one level. There's also a backup candy you can grab if you're really worried. Also backup Moonstone. Yeah, there's, there's, there's enough ways to get it, but uh, King Par is going to need every single thing on that tracker to spawn uh, Sandy, from here on out. Sandy, checking out how the Arcanine is doing. <laughs> Okay, so this skip, as long as you're hugging the wall or the fence, it's it's free. You just have yeah. to dismount with that Pokeball and then just hug the wall. Yeah, um, do not pick up the item ball either. Um, otherwise yeah, don't mess it up. <laughs> I, I, then you have to manually just don't, don't ask how I know that. <laughs> then, you, then you have to manually. Well, don't yeah. ask how I know that you have to hug the wall. Being <laughs> a motion control moment. Oh, getting motion control. Yep. Uh, when I when I first learned this game, I noticed that trainer wasn't in the uh, in the guide, and I'm like, Is, "Are we supposed to fight this guy? How do I skip in this fight? Like, what's going? Do we just forget a trainer though?" We... And then I watched someone do a run, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm dumb." <laughs> so... Well, I mean, you you know, common sense indicates that yeah, like no like, matter what, like, it can see you. It can yeah, like just see like, you. Look at... Yeah, you like look at that. Like, okay, like, what are these stats? I, like, uh, I, I, it's I, really I blurry that. for us. Yeah, it, it was, uh, it was a little low uh, crispy, low crispy. I <laughs> know. Uh, so. uh, okay, I have no. I, if anyone can see it somehow. Yeah, it was a GDQ hotel quality. <laughs> of course, I'm on an ad break. <laughs> oh yeah. Shout out to at, Twitch. At three of four. Uh, four or five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, it's according to uh, 8692, uh, Kid Rocker. It's okay, from yeah. what I remember. Uh, so page, page gave us 93, 47, 62, 85, 58, 90. So, uh, fairly average stats. So, good speed. Oh, three. So, King, King yeah, Amber, three candy. King, King Par getting absolutely robbed on that excellent throw. So you can like, there's different candy strats that affect friendship somehow. I don't know the specifics, but Amber did three. Yeah, three one has kind of become just the acceptable norm, but if you do two two, um, you can skip a couple X items and uh, uh, skip turnarounds late in the game. Saves about 10 seconds at the end of the game, but um, for a race, uh, for race stats and ma or marathon strats, you probably want uh, three one just for the I safety. But guarantee. Always. I are... always. Don't the chancy? Are you that? Okay. Don't go. What Wait. What, what are we? Wait, what? Okay. All right. I'm not. All right. We're going for the side. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we need. Well, not so hopefully. No, King Car doesn't have a uh, King Car does not have a uh, chancy yet. Okay, so, so Amber's usually go Dodrio. for it. And, uh, bye bye, Dodrio. Yep, Dodrio. Uh, no more. Yeah, this is uh, this is Ted. Um, Ted is the only required trainer in Mansion. Um, Ted has an Electrode. We don't like Electrode. It's uh, not a good Pokemon for us. We like being able to use two controllers. Yes, uh, this fight. 
Um, I didn't speed run this game when two controller was banned. I heard this fight was so miserable uh, in one controller only. I don't think any of us ran it. No, <laughs> we're all <laughs> zoomer speedrunners. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad. Amber, Amber getting through. Uh, Amber getting through. Ted. Uh, Amber did get the coughing, so Amber is done. Uh, Amber has all 50 Pokemon, uh, provided that they get uh, the two Gift Mons at the end of the game. Sandy Let's look just at the needs star. to catch two more things. Okay, what's the star? Uh, Sandy. 10:57. 10 10 okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Motion control. Star, you can totally troll sometimes. Like yes, it can. Most of like like ninety percent of the time, it's fine. But then like that ten percent, just the size of a mega troll. Yeah, it does jump around a lot. Oh, it's a glowing chancy. You should not catch that. Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, that will solve the uh, evolution problem, though. That will probably evolve the whole party. But yeah, and then give them like twenty extra levels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, get your Etta quiz times ready. Uh, Amber about to start the seventh gym leader. Okay, uh, R still needs a Pidgey. Uh, you can just get, get route one. It. Yeah, you can get Pidgey on the way to. I think it spawns on the way to Cinnabar. Yeah, but. Okay, waiting around. Yeah. I would probably um, do what Greta suggested, the Route 1. Catch Pidgey. I would have caught that Pidgeotto in Route 1, maybe. I take Etiquette's time so safe. I spam V and like waste like half of a second making sure I hit the down. Yeah, I, th I don't think the Pidgeotto there is uh, a bad play. Um, you just have to. Oh, well, it flew away now. So. It flew away now. Uh, guess guess that's not a guess that's not an option anymore. Uh, another duck, um, fish. Could get Eevee here. Okay, so we do have the Pidgey now. Uh, so King Par, I believe that will be their fiftieth Pokemon. Uh, they still have Tentacool marked, so they do need Tentacool. But they still uh, have Machop marked. Uh, they yeah, have fifty-five plants. Oh uh, yeah, they still have fifty-five plants. So, Still the Nitos uh, marked. Yeah, so if you cut the two Nitos, the Machop, and the Jigglypuff, that's uh, that drops exactly to 50. Pretty sure Amber outspeeds everything. So we'll see if you get it. Oh, Flamethrower, oh, perfect flame. Flamethrower turn one, so perfect flame fight. No burn either, so that's nice. Oh, Sandy's playing with the Pikachu. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. Did, San did Sandy already evolve this time? No. Uh, no, not yet. Oh, I believe uh, Sandy will likely be doing that just before Ted. Okay, why can the stream, like, the stream is fine until, <laughs> until we can see the star stats. Yeah, it's like, nah. <laughs> like, it drops... <laughs> like, CP? Like, quality. it's like... Like, it, it wants us to see the CP. We have, like, perfect quality for the CP. <laughs> Stats calls? Nah. Nah. Just don't want to know. Don't want to know. Oh, wait. Wait. Did I... Did Sandy take out a Pidgey? Hey, yeah, I just saw Sandy deposit the Pidgey. I have no idea what that said. Uh, Sandy... Okay, that's bad. <laughs> No, uh, Sandy 82, has 82 at 40, 82 at 45. That's not great. The speed was right. Uh, Sandy candying, uh, the Rapid Ash as well. And... I saw Sandy deposited, uh... Pidgey. Yeah, say yeah, the only needs to evolve Dotrio, and they're fine. Okay. Well, and the Starmie, but... 
T-Pat, T-Pat says that um, Starmie's uh, not amazing, but not terrible. So. Oh, no, 82 and 45. I guess we'll see when we learn Scald where we're at. Um, so Amber uh, just picked up the her their third badge. Um, this is another uh, kind of interesting cutscene in the game. Um, game Freak didn't think you would do the gyms out of order here, so uh, Trace's uh, kind of text Who? is a little funny. Uh, the rival, that's his actual name, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I know. He's, right. yeah, he, he says like, uh, oh, hey, it's cool. You have seven badges. Um, we don't. We have the seventh badge. Uh, but we do not have seven badges. We have, uh, we have three. So. Oh, Tangela's on the screen. <laughs> or, Tangela. or is it Tangelina Jolie? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any backstory of that. I just know Tangelina oh, Jolie. Amber's going to do early shop. Yeah, Amber likes doing that. Amber doing early shop here, so we're gonna actually do the gyms uh, even more out of order. Uh, well, <laughs> this. yeah, we'll even more out of order than we normally do. Um, all right, so what's the cutest Pokemon in Amber's? Yo, party? that was a good tentacle, actually. It was not awful. From par. Angela. Tangela. Tangelina Jolie. <laughs> Um, so wow. Amber in uh, Eric's gym. Um, 10, 10 Whoops. Yeah. So Amber in um, Amber in uh, Erica's gym. All of these trainers here are blind. Uh, they cannot see anything. Um, it looks scary, but uh, they cannot see you. So. That throw got yeeted. I didn't even see it on the screen, and now obviously I see it in the background. One controller. Throws I find the hardest. Yeah, this is uh one controller is very difficult. Like one controller side throws for whatever reason are like way harder than two controller side throws. Don't know why. Oh, there's ditto. A ditto. Oh, there's nice a ditto, ditto on Sandy's screen. I think uh, is that the first ditto of the tournament? Ten percent. No, Sandy. it's not. <laughs> Sandy just uh, <laughs> ditto, <again. laughs> ditto sucks to catch. It jumps a ton. It really does. And uh, you'd be surprised how bad that uh, the ditto catch is. Uh, Sandy taking the free bed heal here. Uh, you can sleep in the bed and uh, oh, oh that <laughs> that Rattata was thinking about it, but decided against it. Uh, Sandy grabbing uh, backup candy here. Yeah, so Amber's doing this in AOP gym order. Well, at least Erica before. Yeah. So after this, uh, that means Erica or uh, Amber is going to go fight uh, Lieutenant Surge um, and then do the last shop of the run. Um, normally, you would do the last shop of the run after uh, we do Why? all the stuff, stuff. Why do we do it here? Um, I mean, don't remember what the reasoning was Why off the top of my head. I think it was like a reroute from like a year ago. I, it, there's like a reasoning for it. I don't remember off. If chat can remember why. Do you know, uh, Grandma? What's the question? Why Why is Amber doing this and shopping now instead in, of. In Vermilion? Uh, I don't so. remember. Because it's good. <laughs> yeah, I don't, off the top of my head, I don't remember the reason why you do, can do the shop a little early. Okay, um, okay, okay. So, oh, 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 that's so bad. That's, oh, that's wow, it's suck. so low. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, the King Car is the worst star. Oh, you get early hyper potions for Archer, that's why. Okay, yeah. But like, most of the time, super potions are fine. I guess it's race strats, so it's good for race. Yeah. Okay, right, that so, star. Uh, Sandy, Sandy getting through uh, the gym quiz. The speed is even good on that star. It's like all attack, defense, special defense, HP, or something. That combination. I don't know what exactly. Yeah, Par's but, Star wait. is uh, Par's Star is uh, in a league of its own and not in a it's, good way. It's 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 not good in speed. It, it's it's awful in special attack. It's it's so bad. Uh, we might not be KOing the Nine Tails. <laughs> That's how low it is. 
we're not KOing the Dragonite, that's for sure. No, we're definitely not KOing the Dragonite. This is so... That's so... Uh, oh, par, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, uh, that's... That is, uh... A very unfortunate one. Okay, so, uh, will Amber get these trash cans correctly first time? What do you think? <laughs> You'll take a bit? Oh, oh, they got the first one, so that's good. Right. Oh, man, first try. Damn, can't believe it. Yeah. Damn, yeah, so can't the, believe yeah, it. The, 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 puzzle, the puzzle for the uh, Vermilion Gym is uh, kind of random. random. There's uh, two uh, switches hidden in the trash cans, and you have to find them, and they randomly move around. Um, so getting it first try there is really awesome. Yep. <laughs> Yep. You can also try to RNG manipulate. <laughs> yeah, in this yeah, game. That's what I've heard. Yep, that's what I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're super over level. Uh, just fight. Yeah. Or you could have tried Do Dodrio and jump kicked everything. That's a yep, you could, yep. And if you miss, you just uh, you get hit with a thunderbolt. <laughs> Oh, jump kick never misses. That rat. That rat just came up on King Par. Uh, Sandy finishing up uh, Lieutenant Search. Or not Lieutenant Search, sorry. Uh, Blaine. <laughs> Blaine. Uh, they, look, they look the same. No, no, they look the same. <laughs> yes, they both have hair. Uh, <laughs> both wear lab coats. Yep. Yes. Both have glasses. Both wear ties. While I'm in Japan, I'm going to try and find Blaine's tie from this game. Ooh. Uh, so Sandy, uh, let's see what uh, Sandy chooses to do here. Uh, whether they go to Vermilion or uh, we're gonna, I oh, wish gonna potion the Starmie up to full. Or yep, a potion the Starmie up to full, um, and then we're gonna fly using our lawn chair. Uh, we're going to head to it looks to be Vermilion. Yep. So, uh, gonna do the normal, uh, shopping strats. Taught Thunderbolt? Did you would ever forget <laughs> to teach Thunderbolt? I don't know. Uh, Thunderbolt one thing to note, great. that Amber did not buy, uh, X special defenses. So, uh, we will be seeing some 2C action, uh, later in the game. Wait, did Amber buy before the gym? I guess Amber wants that. I think I totally missed that. Yeah, in the in the bag, she only had uh, or they only had um, X speeds and X special attacks. So, uh, no X special defense, meaning that uh, we're gonna see some two C strats on the um, E4 fights. So, uh, Sandy, um, all right, got the switch first try, good. And then, no, oh, oh, got the second a one. Scary. Too. Right, good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, that was a really yeah. scary trainer pass there. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I can't believe, can't believe two of the runners have gotten that first try. Well, and in the random. same spots. I know. Yeah. We'll have to see. Totally random. Random. <laughs> we'll see if King Far will get it. Do you think King Far will get it? I, I think so. I, I I hope so. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't. I don't believe three runners can do it in the same. I think they race. definitely can. I wonder if there's any uh, Gen 1 runners in our chat. <laughs> we did so get this... raided, so there are people who definitely do not know. <laughs> there's uh... <laughs> This fight there's that Amber's muck. on. There's a muck on King Far Street. Oh. This, uh... this fight is really good that we can 2C because it's Executor, like, Flippy Walls. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's our greatest a... enemy. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, um, one of the coolest uses of 2C uh, in this entire run, uh, where normally we kind of use it to just make setup a little bit easier. Uh, for this fight, we actually use the second player's uh, Pokemon as the attacker. Um, Starmie is the main that we use for this run, and it has the ability to hit every single Pokemon in the late game for at least neutral damage, with the sole exception of that Executor. That is the only Pokemon we cannot hit for at least neutral. So uh, we let Dodrio handle that. Or Rapidash if you don't get Dodrio. Or Magmar if you don't get either. <laughs> People use Magmar? I didn't even know that was a pain. 
Uh, it was, it, I think it was a thing during like one of the races. Um, I think it was like a cows. joke. It didn't actually yeah. happen. <laughs> no, no one's used it, but <laughs> Dynam, uh, Dynam did calcs, and it's actually not terrible. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, not terrible. That's right. right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, King Par, uh, doing, uh, the Blaine quiz right now. Uh, so far has gotten three for three. Shoutouts to Tombstoner. Tombstoney. Stoner. Uh, every all three of our runners picked false. I'm so sad. Uh, what's that is also an acceptable answer. Yeah, this is not true. Okay, we're on to the best fight in the game. Everyone nope. loves doing this fight. It's so Yay. fun. We yeah, all love this, it. This is uh, this is Archer two. This is uh, the most. I don't want to say this is a hard fight in the game. It's not a hard fight in the sense that like this fight has the capacity to kill you and, like, end your run, this fight can just waste a lot of time. And I mean, it can also fight, kill you. It can kill you, but uh, this fight is not good. Uh, this is mo pretty much every single person in this tournament uh, who runs this game, this is their least favorite fight. Is, uh... Will uh, King Parr Star me even be able to one-shot this month? Because I know it's a range at super low special attack. Oh, is this perfect turn one? Uh, it is. Yep. Yes, unless... Unless? I, <laughs> I think there's levels of perfectness. No, it's perfect. Okay, so uh, that's good. Okay, so focus energy from this Q-Bone so we don't see it later. Nope. No, no alright. <laughs> no. Oh well. Just, still, still, just keep Bone Ring in Q-Bone, please. Bone Ring is 90%, right? So can this... It might not even do it. Don't protect Weezy. It usually never protects, but then it goes on the street. You can see these turns take 20 years. It's <laughs> it's yeah. focus energying because the sucker punch failed. Yeah. Screw you, Kivo. Yeah. Screw yeah. you. So, uh, unfortunately, we'll not see a uh, three turn archer here. Uh, so, two more chances for it to happen. This is the one Pokemon I'm worried King Par's not going to get. Okay. It Got they it. got the nine tails. Good. Okay, this is actually this is still good. This, this should be four turn fight for Amber, so this is still we take. Yeah, it. the four yeah. turn archer is is take. We take four turn. We take yep. four turns all day. Yep. Oh, what? What? Stop the Evo. That must Did have been an accident. Oops, stop the Evo. Par. Third, you know, par. Uh... Might need the backup. Candy Did I miss? Back of Moonstone? I think I missed them on their Evo. I see the Marowak evolving. Yeah, what, no, Evo? he canceled the, the Doduo evolving. Oh, the Doduo. Okay. Yeah, we may need a uh, backup Candy for that now, or maybe we see Jigglypuff on the way to uh, Saffron. Yeah. yeah, that would do it too. Uh, Amber threw Archer two, um, so Amber is going to start uh, heading through the Sylphco building um, using these teleporters. Um, you have to approach these teleporters at a very specific angle, otherwise you waste, like, a second and a half, um, trying Talk to is optimal. Them. Yep. It's, like, any four cardinal directions, or, like, Or diagonal. diagonal. Yeah. Now, I'm Sandy gonna go for the Dodrio -Do -Do version of the, uh, blue fight. Same as Amber. Mm -hmm. No one wants to risk... <laughs> no one's... No one's here is fun, obviously. Don't want to risk... For no reason. <laughs> no reason to. Oh my oh. god! This gauntlet of mons. That <laughs> Why are just... they so far away from the grass? <laughs> the gauntlet of what? Did they like spawn there? Like what on earth? Gets in. Yeah, uh, you can hit like the edge of that loading zone and get in. Um, so Sandy making use of that to kind of skip. Whatever that was, I've never seen that. This Jesse James fight is easy. Yeah, this is, uh, compared Just don't get to... paralyzed! Yeah, compared to the last, uh, J&J &J fight, um... Jesse and James have increased the Pokémon of their levels by, like, I think two? Uh, and we now have a level 46 Starmie, so, uh... Unfortunately for them... Uh, and, uh... Getting a perfect, uh, perfect J and J three fight uh, with the Dodrio getting attacked. Ah, 
I'm excited to see all these ranges from Par. Oh, let's see what happens. Yep. Uh, Par about to start the Lieutenant Surge fight. Uh, Sandy about to start uh, Blue. Yep, we're going to see if Par can also get perfect cams. There's no way, right? There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, no, no way. way. I'll eat. I'll eat cake if it happens. <laughs> I'll eat some nice cake if uh, if Park can get it first try. Park is menuing. Needs to evolve. I I don't know if everything's gonna evolve. Yeah, we might need to get backup candy or backup moonstone. There's a Celadon candy. I don't know if Par got Route 6 candy earlier. Alright, Par oh. got the first can. Good. Can't believe it. I'm in... I'm shocked. Alright, there's no Can way to tell by my voice. Alright, and yeah, there oh, you go. Oh, wow. Okay. Three for three. <laughs> Nazi Kate. Damn. <laughs> Super shocked. Uh, Sandy getting through with the blue fights. Um, really easy. Sandy about to head off to Archer 2. Uh, Sandy and Amber are pretty close um, to each other right now. Sandy is done with catching, and I believe is also done with evolving. Um, so they're both on very good pace right now. Um, both of them I'm only awful. need the two gift mons. I'm awful at, guess at, at predicting pace. I am so bad. Um, so it's, it's roughly about 45 to 50 minutes uh, from the time you get the Master Ball to the end of the game, roughly. So, um, uh, Amber on about 3.05 pace right now. In to the pop one. To lock yeah. in pop one. Okay, first turn of Sandy. Let's see. Yeah, let's see how Sandy does on this the uh, Archer Two fight. Thunderbolt. Oh. Oh. Okay, so if that's the only Thunderbolt, oh, please Bone Meringue. Bone Meringue, this Electro, please. Uh, Starmie stats here: one sixteen, one twenty one. No. Man. No. Okay, please boo. Yeah, uh, going boom here would be the best option. Uh, it would actually be a three turn. I, I think. Four. Four, yes. You're right. Boom. Nope. Nope. Uh, went for T Bolt. Oh, it's, screw oh, you, T Bolt. Oh, oh my. my god, this is bad. Turn three. Yeah, this is why we don't like the Archer fight. Okay, so this is why you early shop. Yes, for this specific <laughs> reason. This is turn um, four. We're now on turn now, four. Uh, I'm just stuck in a heel loop here. Uh, we need to kill this electrode. Yeah, the stupid Cubo and attack the Radicate. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, he's oh, paralyzed. And paralyzed? <laughs> uh, is that the last super? Uh, uh, yes, that is Sandy's last super. So hopefully. Uh... Self destruct! Oh, okay, alright. Saved. Okay. Then the Radicate's so dead. Being, so Wait. being paralyzed isn't great here, uh, but we can still get through this fight. Is it slower? Is, are you slower now? Yes. Uh, you're at least slower than the Golbat, I know that. Oh, I guess using that, okay. Yeah, just using like one of the healing items. Oh, bye-bye, Cubone. <laughs> um, so now you're going to get to see the rest of Rival's team. Um, he leads with this Cubone, but has like... Actually is this turn? Yeah, yeah he has like turn... actually good ones. Is this turn six? Uh, this is turn. I lost five, track. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I lost count. Awful fight. Yeah, this was. Uh... This was this is, the uh... worst fight of the tournament? This uh, this has to be up there. It's yeah, it has to be. Yeah. But we are uh, officially through it. Uh, Don't protect me, Let's get the lag. Uh, oh, it even protected! Taters curse, Joker! You're the one that said we're done! Well, uh, 
Yeah, that's true. That's that's on me. So it was on you. Accounting for the delay, it probably had already yeah. happened before we but said anything. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't care. All right, so we're we're through <laughs> we're through Archer two. Um, uh, Sabrina and Erica oh, going here. Luckily, we get as you. Free heals after the archer fight, so it's fine. Yes, uh, the game will. Uh, it doesn't tell you that it heals you, but you do get a free heal just before the game fight. I'm glad I got my answer on to why early shop. Well, that's why we early shop. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a reason why you should do early shop. I like that science is fun early. Yeah, waiting on the spinner there. Usually uh, you see it spin downward, so you know you can just go above it. But yeah. That seemed like weird cycle. Um, I think Amber got regular Sabrina, right? Uh, we burned the Mr. Mime uh, with the first skull. Nice status uh, lag. Yeah, but we do have to get through this. Um... Uh, the light screen now good. Uh, Pidgeot uh, going to level 40 for Amber. Uh, now we just sit and uh, installed everything on Sabrina's side. 41 gold up. Hey, has Thunderbolt for Slowbro. Woo! Hey. Who would try to pump the Slowbro? I don't know. <laughs> no, I thought it didn't die there. A little bit of a lag there. I'm, I'm excited. King, King Park's <laughs> about to do Archer. <laughs> <laughs> this Starby. Oh god. It's gonna be. It, it could be awful. Like, the muck might not yeah, even I know, die. I know, I know the muck is a possible range. I think it's gonna be of like a zero. I don't know what the Starby stats are right now, so I don't know if it is a range or not. No Jiggly. How is this catch count? Is it fine now? Uh, King Par. Um, so they still have 55 listed as plans. Um, they need to evolve the Tentacool and the Mock. Missing. Yeah. No, they're missing yeah. one. They can do Arcanine. Uh, yeah, but that's 49. Right? You have, have 44. So we need, no, candy, we need a candy Doduo because we saw yeah. the evolution. Yeah, that's the problem. Grimer hasn't evolved. Tentacool hasn't evolved. Yeah. Oh, Tentacool. And then, I missed Tentacool. And then, and then Arcanine. Still have, and then the yeah, two then we still have the two Giftmon. Okay, so we're fine. One, two... Yeah. We, we just need to find a way to evolve Doduo. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you're going to get enough EXP um, before Sabrina. Yeah, I think or, you just have to get Celled on Candy. Yeah, either oh, Celled I don't on Candy... Or you could do, um, you could do uh, 410 Candy as well. In oh, that's better. Yeah. 410 Candy is better. I don't know if Par knows about 410 Candy. Yeah. If you don't, uh, if you don't run like some of the other categories of this game, you might not know that's there. But there is a uh, candy on floor ten. It's in the little. There's like a little like plus sign of items, and I think it's the bottom one. I believe that's also where flamethrower TM is. It's on ten, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it's next. I, I know it's next to the flamethrower TM. Okay. All right. This so... Charizard need to. These to is X special attack skulls always get right. It should it should get it yeah. The hydro pump might not if we don't X special, but X special skull should always get it. Okay, not uh, kicked Amber, by Koga. Yeah, Amber not getting kicked by Koga. So, but you know who is the kicked by Koga world record holder? <laughs> Sam. I wonder. Unless something changed since I last checked. <laughs> Did I just give out misinformation? I don't know. Right. Well, so Amber, Amber about to fight the true gym leader uh, of the Future City Gym, uh, Ace Trainer Caden. Um, this fight is, uh, whew, this fight is something else. I always attack even if I get toxic. I don't think that's a popular. No, game. I think this fight you're fine to do because it's only two mons. But on Koga, you always have to, you always have to heal. Yeah. Before, but this one, it's okay. Fine. All right, That's we're fine. through this fight. Not minimize. <laughs> no minimize. We're, we're through this fight. So all these Pokemon have or protect, not detect. Um, so they can waste turns because it's not guaranteed. Um, so we'll see how many protects. Amber gets. 
No protect, Sun Kaden. Okay, right. perfect fight. So we're through. We're through that fight. Kaden's bad because the muck has minimized. And minimized yeah, fights. if the muck goes okay. like turn one minimize on your setup turn, uh, that fight can go downhill really quickly. It's Archer time. Let's see this. Let's see this star. Yeah, let's let's see how well uh, Par gets through this. The mine will be rough too, for Sabrina, or potentially. Did Par just do the 2v2 candy instead of 3-1? I think Par did do 2, two, two plus 2? Yeah, is there 47 here? Okay, let's see. It should kill them up, right? Oh, protected. Uh, okay, well, alright, so we, we blew up, that's fine. See, right, Amber, if, if... Amber starting the uh, Koga fight here. Uh, this fight is just X special, and then I don't know how Amber's stats are looking. Um, Amber does now have to kill his Toxic off, but uh, you can, if you have a good enough star, you can kind of scald all these Pokemon and save some, Boom! Uh, effects. No boom. No boom, but. Uh, Sandy about to go do the final shop of the run. Yeah, if, if you only see one Thunderbolt, I prefer Thunderbolt turn one as, as compared to the self destruct attack. But you know, if you get 20 Thunderbolts, then that sucks. Uh, Sandy is buying X Special Defense, so going for the 1C straps uh, for late game. Oh, this Weezing Protected too, what the heck? Where are all these Weezing Protects? This is like, I never saw one of them like one this time. And uh, Sandy, uh, Sandy is done with the shop, 24 Hyper Potions. Uh, should be think, more than enough for the run. I think this is turn three, right, for Archer? I think it's Uh, yes, because that was the wheezing. Come on, kid. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Whatever, at least it can't focus energy this turn. It can four, this could be four turn, which is pretty nice. Alright, Sandy's starting the, uh, the gym puzzle. Um... As I said earlier, this game is a remake of Gen 1. The gym puzzle is actually exactly the same as uh, the Gen 1 puzzle. Hey, Cubone did something. Unlike Sandy's Cubone. Do you th I wasn't paying attention to Amber's fight. Do you know how many protects either of you? Uh, I believe they got one protect, two protects, I think. I, think it was I two. saw it. They got, they got Weezing protect. I know that. Yeah, Weezing protect, and I think a protect on... Either the Venomoth or the Golbat, one of the two. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, two protects is pretty average. Um, Amber going and getting a pushy push. Oh, the Muck also are protected. All right, so three protects, so not not great. Um, Amber getting pushy push, which is uh, the pushy push. I don't think it's. <laughs> I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's called pushy push. Of course. Uh, I'm pretty sure, sure it's called push. This game. Sure. This is the same game with moves like Zippy Zap and Buzzy Buzz, like. Why would we not call this Pushy Push? Why would you not say Batty Bad? Oh yeah, Batty <laughs> Bad. Because we don't use that move. <laughs> but it's the it's best. It's weird, because that move's really good. Uh, well, where do you even get it? Is it Fuchsia? Uh, it's in Fuchsia, yeah. Oh, uh, wait, Pokemon Center we never visit. Uh, yeah, so uh, Amber about to head off to the final gym of the game. Uh, this is the only gym that does not have a gym requirement. Um, its gym requirement is uh, have the other seven badges. So it yeah, still is a gym there. requirement. Yeah, just just get to this part of the game is the requirement for it. Um, no light screen skip for Sandy. Um, if you get lights, if uh, you don't get light screen the first two turns of this fight, um, you can actually skip it, and the fight's way faster. But um, unfortunately, uh, if you get light screen, you do have to waste a couple turns. It rarely happens. Yeah, it's very very rare. Okay, so Sandy had by far the other two had really good archers, but Sandy's off Sandy. the archer was so bad. Yeah, Sandy had a uh, one of the worst archers ever, but they're through it now. So uh, Sandy's still on still on pretty good pace. Oh, uh, three ten ish, three 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 fifteen ish pace somewhere in that area. What is uh? their pb 
Are they PB? Uh, the, uh, their PB, I believe, is a 309 and change. Okay. Uh, so I know it's faster just... than my, my 309. Uh, my, th my PB is a 309.57. I think there's like a 309.52 or something. They like, beat me by like four, four seconds. So maybe which just... I thought was which, which I, I personally thought was really cool because Sandy got into speedrunning Let's Go because of me. Uh, they were watching my stream. I've been friends with Sandy for years through like VGC. Um, they're one of my mods on my Twitch channel and uh, they got into Let's Go speedrunning because they saw me doing it, so... Well, that's cool. Then beat you by yeah, so like, like yeah, like seeing like <laughs> seeing them yeah, seeing seeing them beat my PB. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, you know. <laughs> um, I'm assuming Amber's gonna do the safe Sam Yule fight that you're gonna see after this fight. I, I would assume. I I would I would assume as well. Um, I think their special attack is good enough to go for the psychic here on the right horn. Uh. Yep. Yeah. T Pat says no hydro pumps, boo. I agree. Um, um Sandy doing three plus two actually. Yep, uh Amber is going to go for the uh the two C fight for Samuel. So this fight, um this is not a dangerous fight in the slightest, but there is a twenty percent chance that your run just dies here. If you do one, yeah, uh, there is just a twenty percent chance your run ends here if you're doing like PB attempt. But um... oh, we're just gonna go for the psychic, actually. Oh, we're gonna go psychic stomp, actually, uh, and that will get it. A little bit faster than setting up the next item, so. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm assuming two C G of I. I'm assuming just safe strats. Um, they do on. not have an X defend, so they will be uh, going for the 2C stat, uh, strat on Geo. Yeah, and you said no special defense, so all No X special defense, yeah. So uh, Amber just doing race strats from here on out for all the fights. Um, I wonder if... I don't know how much that time that loses, but I wonder if it would cost pop one time. Um, I do um, know. I uh, so. the, the 2C Giovanni fight is a... It's a little slower by like a couple seconds, but um, if you do not, if Rapidash does not die on this fight, uh, you lose 20 seconds. Okay. So we want to see Rapidash die here on this fight. Just don't have like max defense Rapidash. Yeah. Uh, just don't get a. Uh, uh, yeah, T Pat says it maybe costs like around a minute for all the 2C strats. So that uh, could. I don't know. Well, last we saw, we thought 305 pace, so that wouldn't that just be like 306. Yeah. We'll see as we get closer to E4. Uh, Sandy actually starting the Caden fight here. Oh, no minimize, oh, please. Uh, no minimize. All right, and Sandy is through Caden. Nice. Two for two on good cadence. So, uh, according to TPAT in chat, uh, pop one for uh, upper bracket. Yeah, I know 307. 307. Yep. Yeah, I knew uh, that. I still don't know what this pace is. Uh, I, it's around like 305, 306, I would say. Oh, Rapid Dash lit. Yes. One so, health. Was it Power uh, of Love? Uh, yes, yeah, Power of Love. So, yep. Nice. Uh, Rapidash has just enough friendship at this point uh, in the game to live this fight, so it is possible. Yo, with an in-battle level up. So, there's like kind of catch-22 with in-battle level ups, because you want to see your stats on certain fights, like uh, with EV, uh, mid-game and stuff, but they take longer. Uh, they take longer than... Uh, oh, Sandy actually uh, healing their entire party there, uh, using the fact that our Amber... Um, taking that opportunity to just heal the whole party and get ready for the uh, 133, 134. Um, it's likely Lance is not a range. So we got, what is it, three level ups after this? So we're 53, we're 53 for the end of the game. So it's either like, uh, it's either like a 15 and 16 or. Um, it should be good. Just KO, yeah. 
Pars is gonna be awful. Yeah, Pars. <laughs> par, par, par might need to like three C that fight to get through it. Pull out so like a third looks like, or something. Hopefully, Muck and Tentacool or Grimer and Tentacool evolve during Sabrina. So it looks like Pars still needs those two. Yeah. No protect from the Venomoth. I don't know how the other team the using one. No, oh, no protect from the Golbat? Okay. Decent Koga. I feel like the Muck is like most likely to protect. Yeah. yeah. And it gets the protect. Uh, and Sandy is through Koga. Not bad, Koga. Nope, uh, this is nice normally the where the repel out. runs out. Uh, that's normally right around when the repel runs out, uh, at least for me. Um, well, so I just, like, Amber, has, Amber has supers, not maxes. So oh, little... okay. Oh, that's right, yep. Uh, Amber did early shop. Rather. Rapdash wasn't Greta. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, you can just say that right now. <laughs> I guess so. Oh god. All right, so uh, Amber's starting the the final rival fight. Um, this is the last time we're gonna see this guy. Uh, yeah. Yes, definitely the last time. Well, it's Gen One. Blue's the champion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we already know that. Yeah. I think it's Professor Oak, actually. It could be what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this fight, um, you want to have a partner like Rapidash uh, for this fight specifically because um, you really need uh, the Raichu to come out third here um, because we need to X speed to outspeed this. Um, and it's the same for Pikachu version, except uh, the rival, uh, as stated earlier, will have Jolteon. Uh, even though this is a remake of Yellow, uh, the rival, for whatever reason, he just likes Jolteon. Um, we don't like the rival. At least it's not Vaporeon. It, yeah, but we at least have Thunderbolt for that. Oh, we do? Yeah, we at least have Thunderbolt. Well, okay, screw you, Jolteon. <laughs> <laughs> just, it just looks Jolteon for some reason. Where's my Flareon? So I can just scald it. Flareon, I think, uh, in yellow, you have to win the first fight and then either lose or skip the second one. So we would, yeah, uh, we would get Flareon if this were yellow. That's why I always got Flareon. Uh, yeah, like, nobody ever does the the second rival fight, like, even casually. I didn't, I didn't know that fight existed for like the longest time. I'm like, there's no way they put it in the game. Nobody does it. Um. All right, so Amber does have the Boulder Badge. Good. Uh, really, I thought Amber didn't. Uh, and the Cascade Badge. Good. Good. Uh, so this guy actually checks to see if you have the autograph from Surge. Um, Surge gives you his autograph for some reason after fighting him. So this water one, I tried to skip it by going on land right behind the swimmer and then like hitting a Pokemon as soon as I enter the water and that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, all the their, load, are... their load zones are so big. Yeah, like, their load zones are huge. Oh, but also, it make the game worse because you could skip Koga. Like the reason this run is is interesting, at least in my opinion, is the fifty catches. Um, yes, it would be yeah, way definitely. more boring of a run if you could skip Koga. But if we could skip this oh, Earth match, okay, all right. That line, so. The 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 stream lagged on my side, and I thought King Pard did not KO the uh, the Slowbro on Sabrina's side. Hey, it looks like oh, this Starmie <laughs> got through Sabrina. And <laughs> yeah. Sabrina's mine. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Amber, uh, starting Ace Trainer Naomi. You can one C this fight, but um, it is not a good fight to one C. Uh, it will most likely end your run. Uh, the 2C version of this fight is just X-Special Hydro Pump. I assume 
we've only seen one Naomi, right? And that was Echi. Echi was Echi, uh, one seed Naomi. Uh, I um, wouldn't expect to see that for most of the tournament. Yeah, I think or Echi, like ever again. I, I wonder if Echi did it because they knew they were on wall record base. No, I. That's why. Like yeah. Ninety percent, ninety-nine percent. Yeah. But it, yeah, I think most times you see this because it's super risky. Yeah, it is one of the riskiest. It's really interesting too because um, Naomi's Kangaskhan knows Sucker Punch and two shots the Starmie. Um, but she also, just doesn't do for it. Also, uh, we could skip trainers here. This is why uh, this category is called No, uh, no Mount Skips, NMS. Uh, because you could use Rapid Dash to skip all four of these victory road fights. Um, it's very precise. Uh, you need like special Joy-Cons. To have consistent setups. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. with regular Joy Cons, you're just going and praying that you somehow get past them. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, shout outs while we're talking about that. Shout outs to Sandy, who did a lot of the research yes. on how to skip uh, some of the trainers here. Um, I would not be shocked if Sandy actually goes for the mount skips and then turns around and talks to the trainers. <laughs> That's what we've been hoping for. Yeah, I really hope Sandy does that. Is Sandy using the modded Joy Cons or the third party Joy Cons right now? I, I think know. so. I'm not sure. Did uh, okay. So it looks like it looks like Par is fifty. So, or did Tenta? Yeah, he. I think he chose. He's evolving Growlithe right now instead of. Yep. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, they did get enough experience as well to get the. Uh, Dokuri. Yeah, he he got that and Muck. Here, just no tempo. Yeah. But that's me. Yeah. But yeah, if you Amber. just try it randomly, it takes like hours to get the skips. It's so. Precise. I wonder. I wonder if that's if that's because you know that Goku. <laughs> <laughs> how, I mean, I... how long did it take you to get Caroline? Caroline took me the longest. It took like three or four. The other did ones you... didn't take. You... I did them all in less than ten hours combined. But yeah, Caroline did took you, me. Uh, didn't you actually uh, skip the boy that's next to Caroline? No, too? I have not. Oh, I, okay. I I tried him first. I tried him first because <laughs> I thought I thought it'd be funny if I skipped him first instead because. <laughs> Because we don't, we don't fight him anyway. Um, but I could not, so I gave up and did Caroline. And then it took me, yeah. like, a, now, I, like I think I spent like two hours on the on the boy and like one to two hours on Caroline. I did it way quicker when I was. I might have spent like three hours on the boy and then like. Here now. we're coming up on Alexa Skip. We just narrowly get past her here by the ledge. Yep, and you just nice. Kind of you kind of just hug the wall, and then at the very top of the ramp, you kind of just flip under her. Um, like we said earlier, Trainer's vision in this game is a little weird. Um, uh, her vision is just a, this exact, like, box, and if you're never fully on her vision tile, um, she doesn't see you. Don't miss Hydro Pump. No, this fight is miserable if you miss Hydro Pump. <laughs> or if you just sweet kiss on that thing. My special yeah, I got, I got... I got put to sleep three times in this fight once. I that hap no, I that didn't happen to me. But I missed three hydro pumps. Well. Uh me too. Uh 136. 136. Okay, so I think that should I think Yeah, that should that should be because we'll guaranteed. level up we'll yeah, we'll level up on Bruno and we'll level up on Lance. Yeah, so I think so Amber should be able Amber's to clear through the Dragonite. Uh they will still two see the fight because they don't have X special defense, but uh, Amber's good to uh, one shot the Dragonite at the end of the run. Pars making it through Caden. No minimize. Everything's good. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, so Caden oh. is kind of Caden's kind of the last fight of the game that can kind of troll you. Uh, this is uh, one of the last ones uh, in the run that has any of the accuracy dropping stuff, unless you have a really bad star and get like wrecked on level. I mean, you know, who has a really bad star? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, King Par, uh, waiting on the uh, the walls to pop in and out, uh, see where the maze is. I have not memorized this maze. You think I would have by now. But... <laughs> actually, the uh, the gifts uh, in the beginner version of the, the Pika route, uh, those are from my, my game. 
Uh, I just I ripped them from like a random run. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so you won't see it we repel through Victory Road, but if you push one of those things and there's a Pokemon next to it, it'll destroy <laughs> the Pokemon. That's pretty funny. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Just it. They just, they're just gone. Sounds to me like you should run AOP more. Uh, I <laughs> probably know. should. I probably should. Well, yeah. I re I re repel after catching everything in here because it's just awful. I re repel after the Voltron. You don't go for the hit mods and skip Dojo? Wow. No, I do go for. No, I get the hit mode Lee. <laughs> it's the only thing I get in here. No, no, no. You skip Dojo and you also get hit on Chan. Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> Hey, it's the peak of world record strat right now, so... <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this is the last fight of E4, Dawson. This is the trainer we first found we Of E4. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, what'd I say? I just made me wrong. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Yeah, this is Lance, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was the first trainer skip we found, as Joker said. Um, uh, runner by the cool. name of uh, Cruel uh, just skipped Dawson during a run and a didn't even marathon know run. I think so. No. I, think doing, like, I think they were doing like uh, I don't think so. or something. Oh, I think he did it in a marathon uh, run Amber. as well, or Aspect did. Aspect, I don't. Aspect, yeah. Aspect did it in a marathon run. Yeah, yeah Aspect got it in a marathon, but Cruel was the first one to get it, and Cruel didn't even mm -hmm. realize they skipped him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like someone in so Like I he doesn't play this game that much. Yeah, like so I think Catterdies was in their chat and was like, uh, you just skipped Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Cruel was he, like, I what? Yeah, Cruel just kinda had like a nonchalant, like 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 that was kinda weird. Walk and on then, back. I just kept on going. And, <laughs> yeah. and then once once the Lesko player shot it, we were all like, What? What? <laughs> we were like, wait a minute, what? The Nelson skip find was my favorite one. If I remember it correctly, the person who posted Nelson skip uh, in our in our Discord was like they weren't even like a speedrunner. They were like, I think I yeah. found a glitch. Yeah, yeah. we were like, we oh, were okay. like, yeah, sure, like just post it. Like we we kind of know all the glitches. And then they showed the Nelson skip, and we were like, <laughs> well, that's new. Yeah, and <laughs> that's when I saw like, when I saw that. When I saw that, I'm like, okay, Naomi skip has to be possible. So then I tried it, and then and then I got it, and I wasn't recording, and I'm like, oh no! <laughs> and then Credit's like, you know, you can do it with your Switch controller. I'm like, oh yeah, I can. Yeah. So then I did it the second time. All right, so Amber's starting the Elite Four here. This is the final gauntlet of fights in the game. Um, Amber on very good pace, actually. I think Amber can plus two or plus. Four I thunderbolt or plus two thunderbolt. Yeah, it should it should skip KO. The third yeah, it should yeah. KO the Lapras. Um, I think Scald is still a range on the Jinx. Uh, yeah, just pump. We'll see what. Yeah, it just it's pump. Oh, uh, just doing six, I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah, just going for safety. Makes I think. Sense. Yeah, based on like Amber's decisions, I guess just expect full safety, which is fine. Of uh, Sandy about to fight Naomi. I think, I think no matter what, this should be pot one. So safe strats are yeah. won't ruin everything. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Pat, it is uh, a range on both the Lapras and the Jinx. Uh, at 136. Uh, oh, unfortunately, okay. Amber one level short. Uh, Sandy hitting nice the hydro pump there. Yeah. Let's go. Who misses Sandy. Hydro Pump? Sandy hitting it. Uh, that is, uh, I believe. Oh no, uh, Sandy. Whoa, wait. Going... What? The. Wait. Sorry, never mind. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought Sandy the Venusaur was, like, clipping through the map <laughs> dash, but it was just a normal reaction. I guess I never looked. Oh, Sandy having to wait for the rotator there. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Bruno safe fight. Yep. So Amber uh, heading into uh, not even healing for Bruno. 
Um, so one of the weird AI quirks of Bruno is that if you have more than one Pokemon in your party, um, he's very likely to go for Stealth Rock, which is mm. awesome for us, uh, because it is a non-attacking move. So we get a free turn of setup, and uh, it is just one X special for this fight. Uh, Sandy starting uh, Juggler Nelson. Yeah, the... Well, uh, getting put to sleep, unfortunately. Please, not again. Uh, so Amber start at 52, 138, 138, so Lance will not be arranged. Yeah. Amber's uh, E4 will be, I don't think, yeah, it'll be completely safe. Um, so it's just, at this point, just finishing the run. Yep. Um, so it looks like, I mean, I can't math at all, but it looks like this should definitely be a hot one on time, so that's really nice. Um, We'll see how these other two runners. I think Sandy might be pretty good for pot two. Um, Sandy looks to be on about three. I'd say about three fifteen-ish, maybe three twelve-ish pace. Uh, Sandy's it's, almost done with Victory Road. You need a. Is it three sixteen to? To... Uh, let me see the, uh, um, there it is, there's the bracket, uh, um, so pot two, 317, so, yeah, 317, well, no, Sandy's, Sandy's definitely on pace to beat that, so, well, to, to lock pot two, or to lock upper bracket, um, to lock upper bracket, uh, they would have to be, uh, my time or Quo's time or three sixteen. No races left. Oh, there's three, three races fourteen. Left. Yeah, there's three. So there's this one plus two more. So they'd have to beat Irons three fourteen to guarantee it. Yeah. But they put guarantee. themselves in a pretty decent spot if they could beat Spider's time. Yes. I forgot all four people think. I believe uh, right now Sandy is on pace to beat uh, Irons time. Okay. We'll see how risky Sandy decides to go, because they might choose to not do the safe two seat traps. Oh, oh, avoided the lovely oh, kiss. That's no. nice. That's, That's good. good. All right. Okay, we took it out. So just missed one pump. I actually do like yeah, this Sandy, Sandy is track. on uh, about 310. Like I said, somewhere probably in the area of like 310, 312 pace. Um, Amber's probably looking at like a 305 right now. Uh, so, Rapidash died for King Paz. So nice. Yep, so uh, that actually makes the fight much faster for uh, King Par. Come on, Amber. Unnecessarily pump. Uh, you know. <laughs> Honestly, what you can do is go to, I believe, plus four on this fight uh, and just scald everything. It does save the turnarounds. All right, so Amber about to head into um, the last fight. Uh, Lance, the leader of the Elite Four. Uh, Sandy yep. is uh, pushing a boulder. Um... <laughs> all you, all you, uh... I don't know why I found that so funny. <laughs> <laughs> For all you Gen 1 runners, uh, we do have to press A in front of Boulder. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they uh, they took that away from us in Gen 1. They also took away Swag Boulder. They did take away Swag Boulder, too. And it's a 2C version of the Lance fight. So for this fight, we have to set up to plus Wait. 6. Because the Dragonite has a ton of HP. I guess this is intentional. Okay. Yes. So you summon the yeah, you summon two P on turn two. Um, you do an X speed, take one attack, and then um, summon two P, and then finish that up. Okay. 
Will this be... Will this be T-Pat's time? Might be third place. So far. Um, it's possible? I mean, this might be etiquette's time. I mean, Lance is the last fight in the game, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be etiquette's time. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I believe Amber has a level up here. Yep, on the Gyarados. Uh, Look how zoomed out we are. 142, yeah. yeah. I love how the game, like, <laughs> they bring out the huge Pokemon and they just take up, like, the whole screen. It's great. Okay. So I assume Sandy's doing 2C, because I'm pretty sure Sandy just skipped full restore. So I was assuming uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, Amber also skipped full restore. Yeah. So. But they did buy... Amp, Sandy did buy X Special Defense, so I'm wondering if maybe they're going to 1C the Dragonite. Or maybe they were thinking, depending on what their, time, their pace was, they would change strats. Because I yeah. think... I think if they think they could be Iron's time, then there's, then they could just do full safety. Um, I mean, they're they're on pace to beat Iron's time. Are they? Uh, yeah, Elite Four is. It's like about minutes? it's like twelve to fifteen minutes, depending on how fast it is. So they're they're on pretty good pace to beat it. Hey, they might be at a winner's time. I wonder who could that could be. I wonder too. Yeah, you beat a winner's time. How's it feel? I did. I did. I did. <laughs> uh, okay, final yeah. uh, surprise. There's actually yeah, one more fight. Yeah, surprise. The fight is uh, the, the, your rival's <laughs> champion. Surprise. Um, so this is the final fight in the game. Um, you might hear a lot of us say this is one of the hardest fights in the game. Um, I we're all pretty sure this Pidgeot has. Increased crit scope rate lens. in this air, so it has yeah, a scope like, lens. Insane. Uh, Even though there's no helmet. You, yeah, I can't tell you the number of runs I've lost to this, but I crit on air slash here. There, there was a, there was a, during one of my my runs, I like got crit twice, but also dodged like two air slashes or something. Is it, it was so good. <laughs> oh, by the way, there's mega evolution in this game. <laughs> yeah. So that's the first time we see Mega. Yeah, so it's actually really interesting. Uh, this is the... Normally in a in a Pokemon game, um, like, the major characters will, like, save their ace Pokemon for last, like, their strongest Pokemon. Um, for whatever reason, in this game, uh, Rival leads with it. Um, so this is what makes this fight so challenging, is while you have to do setup, you have to be going up against his strongest Pokemon, which is a Mega Evolved Pidgeot. Also, um, the but Amber is through the fight now. Yeah. Well, 2C was, is all safe, so... Yeah. Well, you do have to take one Air Slash, so... But it shouldn't be able to kill you. Uh, in... Yeah, it depends on how bad your special defense is, but most likely it doesn't kill you. But in the uh, Pikachu version of this game, you're going to see a very different setup from the other two uh, runners here, uh, especially King Park. Yeah, well, congrats to Amber. This yep. was a really good run. This is a uh, mm -hmm. phenomenal run from Amber. This this will be... I believe this is third this place. Be, this should be third place. Yep. Yeah. So... Amber, uh, definitely one of the favorites uh, to win the tournament. Yeah, I think so. I'd probably say top three, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, my my finals bracket is Etchy Etiquette, um, New Amber. Mine is uh, me, Sai J, and uh, New Amber. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the uh, <laughs> appreciate the faith in me. Actually, actually, Amber's not gonna make it. Greta is entering the tournament right now, and it's gonna be Greta, a Greta got a round one. By, so. <laughs> yeah. We just couldn't unleash Greta because she's yeah. So, so this is uh <laughs> this is a three oh three and change uh, for Amber. Soon we'll hear from Amber soon. Yep. Uh, so once uh once Amber gets uh, their time, uh, we'll uh, we'll join them up, 
uh, in the chat. Um, but down over on uh, the blue screen, uh, down there, we have uh, Sandy going through the Bruno fight. This is the easiest of the Elite Four fights. It's just a 1x special and then go. You can't, you can't die because um, fate doesn't exist. Yeah, unless your name is uh, Randall Eats Cheese or Aspect, then uh, then this fight is terrible. But also, uh, one other thing to note, um, Sandy is at full HP for this fight, so that means uh, they did get Stealth Rock on turn one. Um, so when that happens, you actually don't have to heal for the next fight. Um, and that is going to be, uh, in just a second, uh, time for Amber. Yeah, what a time. Uh, 3.03.52, what a time. So See, that's uh, why you pick girl three, but that's also why you <laughs> save girl. I said that's girl, also why you girl save three. Girl three, uh, girl three has girl, the girl three is uh, the uh, the canon uh, the canon uh, character. Yeah. Protagonist power just oozes. Uh, well, hopefully, we'll hear from Amber here in a little bit. Uh, I've, I've invited them to the uh, to the VC. Probably, probably, you know, need some a break and then come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, uh, <laughs> take, take, a, take a few seconds. So, um, but yeah, that is a uh, three. Uh, oh, and uh, we are joined uh, by race winner, uh, new Amber. Amber, three hundred three fifty two. Congrats on pot one. How does it feel? Wow, what a tournament, Captain! It's only round one. <laughs> What a what a weird run, what a strange <laughs> run all around. Uh, right, so we're going to the uh, two layout now. Um, so yeah, Sandy uh, finishing up Agatha now. Uh, Sandy also did full restore skip, by the way. I should yeah. watch the stream now. I like looked at where where the other races are like two or three times during the race, but I haven't really been watching. I've been you looking know? at the chat though. Do you We're... know how your opponent's Starmies are? I've heard that Sandy's is mid and that Pars is bad. That's... Yeah, uh, Pars is, uh... It's something else. Oh, it's one of those stars, yeah, I it's, see. Uh, it's one of the ones that you would, uh, you have some questions about. Didn't, like, I saw in chat that literally everyone got average Starmie CP. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like 1050, 1060, 2, 1061 or something. Your, yours and Pars were within, were within like two of each other, but yours was good in the right spots and Pars was not. I mean, mine <laughs> had like pretty bad special defense, but other than that, it was fine. Yeah. Um, were you always going to do safety stuff, or if yeah. you were like closer yeah. to the pot? I was always, always going to do safety, always... no matter what. So you, don't re you didn't really care about pot, or were you just kind Well, I mean, okay, if I, if I was... <laughs> I would have thought about it if I was close, but I, I, I knew if I played, like, safely during the rest of the run and that nothing else went, like, poorly, I would be, like, on pace. Yeah. Because you were, you were comfortably, uh, like, four minutes or three and a half minutes, so... Uh, King Race. Oh, okay, nice electric skip. Uh, yep. Everyone that got was, like, it. way faster so, than mine. Uh, so everyone <laughs> got, uh, everybody got, uh... Vermilion skip on the way in. I believe King Par failed it on the way out. Um, everybody yeah. getting Alexa skip and everyone getting Cerulean skip. Yeah. That's good to see. Um, the, so Sandy had the absolute worst uh, Archer 2 fight. <laughs> yeah. Thunderbolt did like six times or something. Or like yeah. three or four or five times. It was like incredible. Or so, so I didn't know about the early shop strat. So I'm like, what is, why is oh, Amber frozen. getting, like, why is Amber early shopping? Oh. And then. And then Sandy answered that question on why you early shop. So like, I'm I'm glad I know now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Early shop's good for races because yeah, Archer can. If you get a bad Archer and you don't have hypers, it just like turns into a disaster really fast. Falls apart. Uh, but luckily, Sandy got through it. Um, Sandy's starting the Lance fight now. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, doing Sandy, safe strats. Doing safe strats. Yeah. Strat, yeah. To see the fight. Um, Sandy did buy X Special Defense, so I do wonder if maybe, um... Probably was deciding, and then deciding. Yeah, but the yeah, but was maybe just was taking a look at their pace, just seeing where they were at, and then deciding, okay, if I'm close, um, then we'll do it. Um, I think... 
Sandy's on really good pace right now. This might beat. Uh, this might be my time, honestly. What is this? Maybe like 313 pace? Yes, yeah, this, is, this is a 313 and change. Um, right now, both me and Quo have a 313. I've got 313.22. Quo has a 313.46. So mm -hmm. this is I think Sandy, uh, like, barring anything terrible happening, Sandy will probably get somewhere around there. Yeah. So did you like your tunnel? 17 Pokemon again after your practice? After the moon, yeah, I, I did a practice run. I, so I did a practice run right before the race, just like through moon, just because like early game was the the easiest spot for things to go wrong, and I got a 17 poke moon uh, in that practice run. On Sandy's uh, star, by the way, so Sandy will have to go for uh, likely going to go uh, psychic stomp on the uh, Dragonite mm -hmm. to guarantee the uh, range here. Yeah, and then I, I, and then in the race, I just got a seventeen Pokemon as well, which I've never, I've never gotten it, and now I've gotten it twice. Can you tell us about that catch route? Uh, what, what was it, 30, 34 coming out of tunnel or something? It was, it was like thirty one out of tunnel. Actually, like I barely caught anything between like moon, end of moon, and end of tunnel. It was, it was so strange though, because I'm, I'm kind of one of those people that I will, I like to just take like. Any early game bonus I see, I will just, like take it almost no matter what. You caught Onyx. Yeah, I I, I did consider skipping the Onyx, <laughs> but I, I was, was a little like, surprised that you went. For you, it. I, I, I think if it was a Lord Onyx, I may have decided to skip it, but I knew it was Unlord, and then I got a level six Onyx, so I was like, okay, this is probably gonna get in. Yeah, fair. Uh, Par oh. got Par dodged the Grass Knot, which is pretty nice. Go on. Um, uh, but yeah, I like I don't know if I would have went for that Chansey if I wasn't mind a special attack. That was the thing, right? So like oh, yesterday, yeah. I was think I was thinking about like, am I gonna take mind a special attack or am I gonna go to my backup? And kind of like after looking at like calcs and stuff, I I was like, it's probably like barely worth it to take mind a special attack. And then the things I thought were gonna be a problem were not a problem. And then the things I didn't think were gonna be a problem were a problem. Yeah, your hideout was. Very wrong. Yeah. I, yeah. I okay, yeah, so yeah, a lot of weird things happen in Hideout. Like e only Eevee getting targeted on that Jesse James 2 fight. My, my thought, like I knew the glitchy glow plus drill run there was probably like not going to, to kill. But my thought is that I could maybe get Eevee to live if I glitchy glowed and get the light screen up. Um, but I didn't. So that was unfortunate. And then um I, I misplayed, I should have healed Eevee. Um, before going into Archer 1, because I knew that the plus 4 Glitchy Glow is probably not going to kill, but I just, like, I didn't think about it until I was already in the fight. I was and then... unfortunately getting the Air Slash miss on Rapidash there. Oh. Why is that bad? Uh, well, now it's time waste because you have to, uh, you have to input a move for the Rapidash every turn. Wait, Air Slash will kill the Rapidash? Okay, Air Slash will take the put the Rapid Dash down really low, and then usually it will put it in quick attack range. Yeah, it, it'll usually uh, go for quick attack right afterwards. But then I'll survive it like yours did, Amber. <laughs> you got Power <laughs> of Love on Geo. Gosh. <laughs> my st my Rapid Dash loves me so much. <laughs> it was hilarious how I got poisoned so many times in that mid game, and yet didn't have to use an antidote a single time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Your Eevee loved you. <laughs> yeah, one of the times I was like, it'd be great if Eevee gets rid of it and then just did. And it was like, really <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that literally exactly how I was thinking. I was like, I was thinking, like, do I need to heal for Golbat if this, if I, like, I'm taking the poison tick damage? And then I get healed and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just, I guess I'll get still for the plus four glitchy glow. <laughs> and then I saw you take the max revive after, like, all, all the bad stuff happened after. No, I always I always take the max revive. Oh, you just, always take it. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, at least for round one, just yeah. like standard safety stuff. Because yeah, you never know if you uh, get outsped by rival f rival five, you know. <laughs> yeah, who would get outsped by rival five? Yeah, who would that happen to? Yeah. yeah. And but, that, yeah. Is, uh, that is it for Sandy. This is looking like it's going to be uh, just around a three fourteen. Uh, it's about. Uh, about like 50 ish seconds uh, to the end of the game. Yeah. So. I think the timer on screen. Position. Let me I fix think, it. 
Oh, uh, I believe that that will that should lock Sandy for um, Patsu. This will this does beat Iron's time. I, uh, I oh sorry, go ahead. Should God. lock Sandy for upper uh, pot three. Yeah, yeah. Lock, but pretty good, pretty strong position. It does bump Razor out. So yes, Razor's now in the lower bracket. Um, mm -hmm. So we will see uh, what happens the rest of the race if a spider can stay in it or. If people get better times. I think the timer on stream is a little bit behind because my race time time is a 30336. Hmm. Okay. Well, send videos and get the correct times. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. We did have the we did have Jordan's computer uh Oh yeah, Jordan's yeah. computer imploding did not help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I did see that happen. Uh, uh Sandy, that is time with the 314 uh looks 09 i believe yeah so yeah right between clothes and irons so we'll see yep. if uh if uh like timing changes any of it yeah uh sandy says they are gonna grab some water and then they're gonna hop in the voice chat and uh, we'll, uh watch the end of uh king cars run sounds good are looking yeah, no on pretty good pace right now no faint because it doesn't exist. No faint. What is faint? I don't know what that is. Well, it's not going to do 34 damage if it does exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Faint, also, right? Not even a red bar. Yeah. There's something else I wanted to ask you, Amber, but I can't remember. So. Uh, I'm... Let me just think of, like, all the weird things that happened. I, I, was, I was scrambling to, like think about the amount of special attack strikes I was going to do through like, the first like 25 minutes of that run. Because I was like, okay, I need to 2C Sandshrew, I need to like, you could guard spec on Rival 3, and then I just got a billion EXP and Moon. Yeah. And it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, when did, uh, did you, I, I can't remember if you started with it, did you start with uh, Tentacle Unchecked? Yes, I, I started okay. with that Tentacle Unchecked. See, see, Amber knows how to run this game, you just don't get <laughs> yeah. it. Tentacle is off. Okay. I mean, it does, like, on the standard, like, plan right, it does require getting, like, Pikachu, but, the, like, everything else is pretty standard to skip Tentacle. Welcome, Sandy. Congrats. A really solid time. Um, yes. Looking pretty, pretty good to be in the upper bracket. Uh, yeah. How do you feel? I feel like I settled this way too late. I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Around the, um, when I hit the tower spinner, which, like, I didn't know she could see that far up, first of all. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Oh, I, yeah, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, like, I was, like, going right across the, like, gap, and I guess I was, like, a couple pixels too low, and she saw me, and I was like, okay, I know what time I need to be, and I can go slower on my menuing and stuff, and not mess anything up, and as long as I don't, like, get Hydro Pump, Miss, Lovely Kiss, and stuff on that Jinx, I should be fine, and I... Well, you... you even saw me, like, go and grab that Rapidash again, because... Dodria will faint to the air slash if it gets hit, and then you get put in a weird X special defense pot, and then you can get crit and KO'd, and that's really awkward, so I just didn't do that. Yeah, um, did you, when did you decide to do safe elite four? Because we know she bought special defense. Um, yeah, so that, yeah. that is for if Rapidash crits and dies, turn one, and then you go X special defense, and, um, and then you go X special defense, X special attack, heal, and attack, and then. Um, like special attack again on Bio Blue. Right. And then your uh, Archer, your tragic, your super oh. tragic Archer fight. Oh god, the Archer fight. I feel so vindicated that I used those two potions on Starmie somewhere rather than oh, yeah. super. Oh yeah! Because I was like, there's no way I'll need five for Archer. <laughs> and then it just, six turns in a row or something, it just flips heads on Thunderbolt every single time. I, th I think if Cubo is going to hit that bone ray, it's it a higher like, chance that the electrode. My boom. my my favorite part of that fight uh, was when you used the last super, and we were all like, "Oh no, what what happens now? Like we don't have supers," and it blew up that turn. And I'm like, "Never mind, we're fine now." <laughs> yeah, I was also like thinking like, you know, if Starmie faints, that's okay because that's friendship will go down at point, and then like it'll be a lot better, and like no turn runs on Bruno and stuff, but. It was fine. It just, just heal up paralysis and live and stuff. That's fine. Yeah, it worked out. So we we got you got, you got through it. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, I was literally friendship routing in my head to make sure that I wouldn't get turned around for Bruno. <laughs> I purposely, even though it wasn't guaranteed to kill, I still did Psychic Stomp on the Samuel. Because if I, I knew if I had to use two specialists on Naomi, then I would have got Bruno turnarounds. Oh, so that's why you stopped. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, we were, I was like, I think their special attack's good enough to get this. It was, it was it really was likely. likely. Like, it, it would have been like, like, not, like, 5% to live at worst. What was your special attack at that point? Uh, 128? Yeah, that's a f over 15 and 16, so... That's yeah. the right play. Yeah. Nido King probably earthquakes anyways, so who cares? <laughs> yeah. We will yeah. see. We will see. I've never I... had it live on 2C, so I have no idea what it does. <laughs> if, King, if King Par can uh, hit this Dragonite range, because this star means. Oh, yeah, this star oh. means. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Sandy, do you know about uh, King Par's star yet? I saw T Pat saying my star was bad, and then I think oh, I saw. We're doing safe stretch? Uh, I think yeah. we are, yeah. Yeah, we are going to do yeah. this attack there. Uh, it does help for this. Um, I don't know what the Dragonite range is, though. We will find out on the Gyarados when it Oh, it is up. 54. 53. It should be level Yeah, one. I think that... Did they do... Uh, they did 2 plus 2, right? Plus this three, this looks like 5 candy. Yeah. Yeah. Three. So three. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're going to be 54, yeah. So they did do yeah. uh, mm -hmm. 3 plus 2. Oh, we're all waiting. For the, for the range here. <laughs> <laughs> this this time. Oh, going for the Scald on the Aerodactyl. Part might, part might think his, their uh, special attacks is very low. Yeah, I think at level 50, the beginner notes say to Scald because it technically can be a range at level 52. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was, oh, yeah, okay, that was the Rapidash. I was like, wow, 107. Oh my god! <laughs> what happened to this star? <laughs> like, no. What did we do? <laughs> did we set adamant nature? <laughs> Red, blue, right, Joker? Yeah, totally. <laughs> it's it's three one. I don't know what the colors are. I, I don't even know the menu actually. I don't go in that center. True. Yeah. Why would you, you know, need to know? Get, just get modest. Just get the spe plus special attack nature without them. Let's see here, what's the range? Deep. It is... From roll play. 134. 134. At 54. That's uh, so bad. Bad? Oh, that's... Just oh. hit the range. Yeah, in my personal just, opinion. Just hit it, let's see. Oh, we got it! Just hit it! Just hit it! Incredible. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't matter. Just get lucky. <laughs> Just get lucky. Let's go. Oh. So this would be a pretty... I don't know what Par's PB is. Uh, I think it's like a 325. I can check. Um, I, know, I, I know he posted it in yeah. PB somewhere. In the, I'll find it. Uh, this channel, maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was in this Discord. Uh, he got he got a 328 so yesterday. Should, it looked like. So uh, so this, yeah, should, should be PB. Yeah, so this yeah. is about uh, probably be about yeah about four minutes. Yeah, about I'd say about a 326. Um, almost forgetting to skip the cutscene. Uh, <laughs> the end, so we got to see a little bit of that cutscene play out. But this is this is the first cutscene you have to skip in. What like an hour and a half? So, since, uh, what like Cubone probably? Yeah, that's that's the first cutscene since the Cubone one. So a lot of us do forget that uh, there's a cutscene here. Uh, there are what eight is... eight total of those cutscenes in the game. There's uh, that know. many? Uh, yeah. Well, there's one for each of the legendaries. Oh yeah, yeah, the so, legendary yeah, ones. See, yeah, like, yeah. I think we only see like four of them during the run, but there there's one for each of the legendaries. Uh, you see them all in AOP, though. Yep. I see, I see them all. All the time. <laughs> well, you see the first frame of them. Don't worry, I'll see them all in the... In nice. the next... In my next race. I'll see them all. Oh, back. Oh, oh we accidentally hit back. 
Yeah, Thunderbolt. Right, uh, going for the Thunderbolts, and then the X special here. Um, this should be quick attack range for the Pidgeot. Yep. Yeah, and then... And, uh, yeah. So that's what normally happens during the fight. Uh, unfortunately uh, for Sandy, uh, the Rapidash uh, decided to dodge. <laughs> Got out of the way. Rapidash just loves Sandy so much. <laughs> yep, you expect here. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and uh, that just guarantees the uh, the Jolteon range. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, the... So the only thing that could go wrong is not Thunderbolting the Slowbro. Yes. Uh, even then, the Slowbro... What does Slowbro even have? <laughs> Uh, it has. I know it goes for light screen most of the time. If you like, if for whatever reason you like T Bolt and you forget to swap moves, um, it usually goes for light screen. Oh, okay. It's just time wasting. It shouldn't. Yeah, it's, it's just time wasting. It yeah, okay. Have, yeah, it just takes two hits to kill. Then uh, I don't think it has anything that can actually kill you. Uh, usually, if you have Star Me Out, whatever he sent out last uh, is the Pokemon that doesn't really have anything for you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yep, as long as we click uh, Thunderbolt here, uh, this will be the end. And yep, that there is we go. Be, yep, that is going nice. to be time. Uh, that will be GG for uh, King Par. And yeah, it looks like it it's be... going to be a three, roughly a three, maybe like a three twenty six oh one or something. Uh, probably so... three twenty five. Maybe we'll see you though. Late, late 325. Yeah, depending on how here. fast the text box is going. What is it, like 52 seconds for Hall of Fame? It's like, okay, so with two Pokemon, it's like oh, yeah, 60, right. 62 two seconds from. Yeah, there's two Mons. I always forget that. I always forget there's two. Yeah, so this should put Par in like fifth place for lower bracket pot one, so pretty, pretty good. Uh, we'll see mm -hmm. if that time's good enough to stay in the pot one lower bracket or. Will be like just barely. Uh, this will be above. This is a lower bracket pot one. Yep. Um, so there's, there's like three people below, or two people. Yeah. Or yeah, two, two, two lower. <laughs> yes, I Glad to see we have ads right now. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're paying the bills. We're paying the bills. If you got Amazon and Prime. Time. Time. <laughs> Yo. Three. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Three twenty-five. It's too sexy. See how the race time. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the race time is likely going to be what we go by, just because. Uh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, well, the local you know, recording. Yeah, we have yeah. local so maybe, recordings. Local recordings and. Um, maybe, maybe it beats cheap, Jay, with the read time. I don't know. What was the difference between yours, Amber? Uh, sixteen seconds, I think, faster. Sixteen um, seconds would make it faster. By three seconds. It says a forty-four on race time. Forty-four. So that's two seconds faster than sheeps uh so we'll see congrats king par how how we feeling congrats, congrats. thank you uh <laughs> yeah, i was doing real good up until uh route 17 and then yeah <laughs> i i also liked your star it was not good yeah uh, real uh, bad. Bad. <laughs> i uh yeah i said 111 okay thanks appreciate that 114 <laughs> I guess I, I guess that Rapidash can outspeed me. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, you had oh my gosh, you had one eleven and uh, one fourteen speed. Yeah, yep. it was bad. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my like, gosh! Oh, this is gonna be a run. <laughs> <laughs> you went like of the star of all you made it through. You made it through with such a terrible star. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's why I prioritized the double rare candy on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. After, Makes sense. After, uh, once you get, uh, once you regain control of your character, you just go check the IV checker. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely curious if it was a zero in special attack. Yeah. Alrighty. We shall see. Is that a PB for you, Par? It is. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. I was eight minutes ahead up until uh, through seventeen. Hmm. Yeah. And then I lost yeah, the, the, it, but... the 17 was a little rough. Um, we saw you kind of waiting around for Pidgey to spawn. I, I needed Pidgey and Psyduck to spawn, otherwise I was 
gonna be have a bit of a hard time. Oh uh, yeah. Did you did you think so? Did you think of catching the Pidgeotto and then catching Route One Pidgey? I thought of. Well, I was going to pick up the Pidgeotto if the Pidgey didn't spawn soon. I was like, I, I'm just gonna have to be, get that and then make do, figure something out. Um, probably would have just gone route, route one, yeah. Well, that is, uh, that is race number 11, uh, in the books. Um, so Amber, uh, with a 30, what was it, 303 something? I already forgot everyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're probably off too, so it's, yeah, it's I, I already forgot everyone's time. So <laughs> I, they're, they're all off because of, uh, you know, some fun. That we have. Yeah, Amber. On. Amber's locked pot one. So yeah, so Amber. Amber's good okay. for upper bracket pot one. Um, Sandy likely in a very good spot for upper bracket round uh, pot three. Um, and King Par also a uh, good enough time to put them in a uh, lower bracket um, pot one uh, as well. So mm -hmm. most likely uh, all of our runners uh, being in uh, pretty good spots. Um, you know, uh, all around just a good race. I mean, uh, even. Uh, Amber and uh, Amber and Sandy were pretty close uh, the whole time, and even early on, uh, King Par uh, was uh, leading the leading the way, uh, being the first one to make it to Moon as well. I had to skip a few. Yeah, uh, your Pokemon count was pretty uh, low most of the. Yeah, <laughs> most of. I was the a little days. I was a little worried about it, but yeah, I, I mean, when you need Pidgey and Duck on round seventeen, you know, so catch rate didn't go great. Yeah, I, I didn't get the jiggly jiggly. Yeah, a little rough. Yeah. But Made it through. Yep, yep. I did, I did. <laughs> All right, well, that is going to put race 11 in the books. Uh, we do have two more races left. Um, to, cool. uh, we have two races well, left. We have a little break uh, in this round before the last two races. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the last two races will be taking place over uh, the weekend. Um so we get the uh, graphic up here. Uh, here, there it is. Uh, so we have two races left uh, in round one. So on the twenty third of June at eight p.m. Eastern. So you'll have to do the math on your time zone. But uh, we'll have Wave Warrior versus Kid Rocker ninety six versus Zimlik. Uh, and that will be right here on PSR TV. Um, and our final run of round one will take place the following day at uh, four o'clock Eastern, um, four p.m. Eastern. Uh, Dynam. Chris, uh, uh versus Vermilion runs uh, right here on PSR TV as well. Yeah, do you do you think uh, Wave and Dynam will both make uh, the pot one? You think they'll be oh, true? Rio seven ten. That's a tough one. I think I think Dynam definitely has a chance. Uh, Dynam's been putting up really good times lately. Um. I'm not. I'm not sure off Wave Warrior. Uh, I don't know offhand what their PB is. Wave has a 301, I think. 301. Yeah. I think yeah. both of them. Definitely. I think both of them will. They definitely, definitely can. Have a very good. They both are capable for sure. Mm -hmm. that, uh, definitely have a very good shot to get into that um, pot one there for round two. Uh, what do you think game, game they'll play? Oh, I think I Dynam's a Pika runner, and I th I don't know what. Game Wave is playing. I think. I think he plays both. I don't actually know what he's playing for. The for some tournament. reason, I feel like he's more of an EV runner. I don't know why I think this, but <laughs> I think he did EV first. I don't remember. I think that's what maybe why I think it. Yeah, but do you think uh, any of the uh, besides uh, the favorites in Wave and uh, Dime? Do you think any of the others can make the upper bracket? Let me let me take a look. Who else is in the races? Uh, honestly, I mean, Crisis just got, I believe, a sub three ten super recently. So I think Crisis has a, definitely has a good shot of getting into that um, upper bracket. Uh, I think Kid Rocker as well has like a three ten PB or something like that. Yeah, three times. So I think two. both of those two for sure have a have a pretty decent shot. Yeah, they'd have to beat uh, Spiders three sixteen oh nine at this point in time. So. Mm, yeah, I think they're both they're both capable of that. I think. Oh, absolutely, definitely. 
Well, you guys will have to uh, tune in to find out uh, right here on PSR TV. Any uh, final anybody? thoughts? Yeah. Uh, it was a great race. Great run. It was. Uh, very Thank good you. run. Uh, very fun commentating with you guys. I uh, had a great time with the two of you. <laughs> have to do, do this again at some point. Got some more races left. You never know. Well, I, I won't be able to commentate either of these. I'll be, uh, <laughs> I'm doing a broadcast for uh, an event. You're not, CEO, you're not so. going to join from Japan? Wow. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be in Japan until August. But, uh, oh, okay. Be, okay. I'm, doing a, I'm working CEO, uh, which is a big fighting game tournament here in, uh, mm. here in where I live. So two, two, I'll be working a broadcast there. Too yeah. two big time for us. I'm <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm working. I'm working uh, something there. So the following week, I'm at a NAIC for Pokemon. So uh, hopefully, I'm glad. Round